But there is one thing I want all of us to understand this very evening. We are facing a very formidable array of enemies. Both external and within. And we are going to overcome each and every one of these obstacles. That I can assure you. That they may know that the God we worship is an invisible God, not a God that was wrought by the hands of men. For we do not worship idol, and we can never, ever worship idol is impossible. This very family, this IPOB, belongs to the Most High. And that is how it's going to be until Biafra comes and beyond to eternity. This evening, I want to place it on record that our enemies are intensifying their attack against us from every corner. I am not saying this as lamentation or complaint. I am only trying to prepare our people for what is to come. You are being prepared for what is to come. The time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat itself. Our march is very, very near. The enemies are trembling, they are quaking, they are doing all they can to try to stop us. But they have failed very woefully. And they will continue to fail. But I want to tell you that we are getting attacks from everywhere. From everywhere all over the world. And very soon, they will buy over some of you. Some of you, they will buy some of you over. The spirit of Obab, Yasika, and Ifajuna are still in some of you. When the time comes, they will buy you over. I am not doing this program tonight to ask all of you to be strong. I am doing it to remind you. Not that if they succeed in buying you over, you're not going to stop what we're doing. You can't. Not in a three, you cannot. Not in a trillion years. But I need you to appreciate one very simple fact. That at the end of this very race, everybody will testify that indeed Chukwuki Kabiyama, the same God of Israel, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jesus, the same God of Ehiri in Aguleri, the same God of Umweri, the same God of Ora Eri, the same God of Owe Eri, the same God of Arochuku, not to be no bad, the, the, the true God, one true God you will know that indeed, not only is he omnipotent, that that same God is the owner of this very agitation. No human being can stop it. We have enemies, and we need to be very, very careful, both within and without. Very, very careful. The next two weeks will be very pivotal. Next two weeks will be very, very important in the life, or should I say, in this very mission that we have embarked upon. The devil will do everything. And you are going to watch spectacularly how we are going to destroy and shame the enemy. That at the end, every glory and adoration will belong to God and not to man. Now let us go and tell you what is happening that some of you do not understand. I want those of you who are hardcore, those who we are chosen before you, we are born. There were some people who we are chosen before they we are born. To agitate for Biafra restoration. This is a message for you. Those who we, from their mother's womb, they were born to do this very work. You must be very, very strong. Because Biafra will open the eyes of black people all over the world. Because Biafra will mean that blacks from America, blacks from the Caribbean, from, from Southern America, they will all flood into Africa. It will be like the time that Yeshua was born. Biafra is like a light, a beacon. They will follow it. They will say, let us go and see what is happening there. That is what these no colonialists do not want. They don't want Biafra to come. I am telling our people so they understand the mountains. I didn't say one mountain. The mountains in front of us that we need to overcome. And for us to overcome it, we need to be very strong mentally, mental strength. Just like when you're doing anything in life. And it appears as if you are being buffeted from everywhere. 
That is the time that you no longer rely on willpower or your muscles. You go to your brain to endure and to persevere and to keep going until you overcome. That is the stage we are in right now. To make sure that our brain is in gear, to confront everything the Janjaweed has to throw at us, we don't have money. Their budget is over $20 billion to fight us. They can bribe Facebook, they can buy them off. They can do anything they like. They can come to some of you and bribe you off. They can promise you what you've never had before. They can give you maybe a house in Dubai. They can promise you a vehicle. They can tell you, oh, we'll make you vice president. They can promise you anything to make sure that you're like them. But this very IPOB, this very hardcore is not going to move. And I will tell you why we can't move. Greetings, the great people of Biafra. Greetings, the great people of Africa. And I greet you and welcome you according to your place of domicile. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. And we are here to address those clergymen. We are here to address those clergymen who believe, you know, that they are doing it great or maybe rather using their influence you know to deceive us all but we are here to address them we are here uh, manuel garcia garcia i saw you and i received that video thank you very much for that video thank you very much let me recognize those in the comment section first before we proceed clement Eze, you George, you are doing a nice job. We must continue all here, Biafra, and Biafra will help thee. So thank you very much, uh, Charles Mba. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Diamond Godson, thank you very much. Welcome, Mwafo, Biafra, Chibweze. Thank you very much, Rafael Adolf. Thank you very much. You are all welcome. Those I call and those that I did not call, you are all welcome. Uh, Ozidi Frederick, thank you very much. I saw your message. Uh, if you want to send me a message that I will be able to respond to very quickly, you send it to me on a WhatsApp because uh, when you send the inbox message, I don't mostly go to the... Uh, mess, um, Facebook inbox a lot, but I do visit there once in a while. So if you want to get me, get through to me, you can get through to me via WhatsApp through the phone number that is, you know, I will place there when we might, if we're having, if you are going to have calls. So, but I welcome you all. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. Uh, Ekesin, Ekesin, <laughs> you say this illiterate, can't you discuss Biafra, but only discussing people, it is your, if it is your own job to discuss Biafra, you can go ahead and discuss it, because this illiterate is doing the job that he know best, okay, there is a division of level, I know that people like you who are not uh, trained by their parents, you know, or who were not trained by parents, you know, you will not understand it. And I, I am not going to block you. Let me just allow you to hear the message before, so that you will catch fire. I want you to catch fire. I want you to begin to burn. You know, maybe you also, you are not just a, this, you are just a, you're also a Roman Catholic. You know, and we don't care about your denomination, your religious denomination. What we are here to do to, you know, this evening, we are here to make sure that all these religious manipulations on our people, we are here to expose them all. I have, we are going to be talking about uh, um, Father Mbaka is the reason why I am here, Father Mbaka. But in addition, we are going to be talking about uh, Omoto, Jeremiah Omoto. We are going to be talking about his miracle. 
we are going to be talking about Apostle Suleiman. We are going to be talking about them. So share this video and make this video to get to them. Because they must get this message that I'm about to deliver to them this evening. Because it is high time. I think it is the right time for us to address this clergyman because they are part of our problem. They are part of our problem. And so many of you who are so religiously inclined, who are so religiously brainwashed, you will not understand what we are about to do. But maybe by the time I am finished, you will be able to understand it and know exactly what is going on. So let us go there. Let us go there. Share the video. Invite other people to join while you are joining. I know I'm supposed to start this message four o'clock Biafra time, but I, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I could not start it because I was still too busy at work. But I got free now, free now so. We are going to run it through maybe in the next two hours we might be done with this program arrange tuku tukuma your father is very very foolish your father is very very foolish because your father cannot be able to do what i am doing and he does he never train you you know whenever you see what you cannot do someone is doing it at least if you cannot appreciate them you relax and enjoy you know, your father is very, very foolish. And, uh, you know, today I am very, I'm hot, you know, like a heat. I am very, very hot, you know, today. I don't look at your face. If you comment rubbish in that comment section, I am sending you where you belong. And I am going to give you a message before I send you there. Just like Arinze, you go and tell mommy and daddy that they are foolish. Okay? Tell mommy and daddy they are foolish. Now, we must continue. We must continue. Um, let me bring this to you. Let me bring this to you. There is a video that I had. Before I play this, before I play this, I want to bring, there is a, a connection of dots. I want to connect a dot. There was a time which, of course, so many of you, that are watching me, that are following my program, you will understand when this Eberima in Finland made an exposition on somebody in River State, I told you where he got that information from. And he made exposition on Bishop or Naga. And I also told you that it was one of this reverend and one of them who want to, you know, use the Eberima in Finland to sabotage the other one. I am not trying to say that Onaga is a good man. He is not a good man. He is not a friend to people. He is not a, a friend to Biafra. He is, you know, he is more like enemy to Biafra. But at the end of the day, we must connect the dots. We must connect the dots. Because... It is very, very important that if you know which field that you are playing, if you know which formation that you are using in order to help the actualization of Biafra, in order to help this quest for Biafra's restoration, you continue and concentrate and do it. If you do not know what is going on, you better come out and ask questions. If you do not come out to ask questions, you believe because you have influence that can influence the society. You have influence or you have a high number of people that can influence you know, the society in order to sell whatever you want to sell to them, be it propaganda, be it whatever you are selling to them. Because today... I am not, you know, especially when it comes to this, you know, pastors. When it comes to pastors and reverends, you know, you guys are supposed to actually focus on the way you guys are, in, in what you people are doing. 
you know, because I don't like you people crossing the territory where I am involved. Because when you people cross the territory where I am involved, I don't take it. It does not all go well with me. It, I don't digest it well. Because I am going to be bringing a lot of things. I am going to ask Fadam Baka some questions. I am going to ask him some questions. Because what he said here, that you are going to listen it is not just, you know, just a regular comment. What he said here that you are going to listen, it is not just a, reg a regular comment. And I can, let me bring this to you as well. Let me present this to you because we need to connect the dots. Before we go there, we must connect the dot. We must connect the dot. There was a time when this guy in Finland, you know, started talking about some certain people. The day he spoke as well about Onaga, Bishop Onaga. The day he spoke about Bishop Onaga. And we had a program here. Politicians in Nigeria. We had a program here on a, they, you know, this program on a Rapture Media. Of course, so many of you who follows up, you know, you will understand, you will realize when we had this program, you know, on Rapture Media, where I made this statement. I am going to repeat that statement before we go straight to what we are about to do, because I am always following these people. I follow them spiritually. I follow them physically. I follow them mentally. Mentally that I am talking about is when it comes to critically following them, you know, critically thinking. I follow them like that as well. I follow them in all ramification to make sure that I do not leave any of their stone unturned. To make sure that I do not leave any of their stone unturned. Now, listen to this, you know, what I said with regards to the exposition, with regards to the exposition when he made about Bishop Onaga, because that thing is not just a regular exposition, that exposition I see our network is not The time when Eberima in Finland is, you know, did exposition on Bishop Onaga. They are attacking that video. Yes, you are right. Emmanuel, they are attacking the video. They don't want this program. These are Roman Catholic people, <laughs> you know, but I want to make sure, I want to make it clear to you. I am here to address Fadambaka. I am not here to attack Fadambaka. But the reason why I am going to show you exactly the reason why I am going to address him, the reason why I want to bring one or two together to connect the dot, to connect the dot, to show you that I've been following up with his activities. I've been following up with the Berima's activities to make sure that when they do, you know, a, mis a mistake like this, I will be able to bring it together. If you remember this comment, listen attentively. We made this comment two weeks ago, two, two weeks ago in a rapture media when we are with the panel. We were with the panel. Listen. 
group is what the politicians in Nigeria they are using. These people, if they want to steal a ballot box, you know, he want to have them to use them for a general purpose. While he is there, you think that he is fighting for IPOB. You wouldn't know that the people like that, they are there if, we, if the opposition party of Soludo or APC members, if they want to destroy the regime of Soludo, they use this type of people. That is the reason why you see them every day, Soludo, every day, Soludo. Even when the, the engagement that Soludo is not, you know, engaging, they are calling on Soludo. You see what is going on with the, those uh, bishops that he was exposing the other day. Those bishops he was exposing the other day, they are as guilty as him. They are as guilty as him. I cannot even defend them. All of them are criminals. But, uh, you know, that is the reason why yesterday I said, I don't want to talk about them. Let the dead bury the dead, because they are all dead people. Those people is like, you know, there is another bishop who is using a berima in Finland, feeding him information in order to Somebody say there is no the voice, but I believe there is daughter. voice there. We know that what he is saying is the truth, but what has it to do with what we are fighting for? What has personal information of people to do with what we are fighting for? It doesn't have anything to do with what we are fighting for. If that is a straight, direct sabotage to opposition of Onaga and uh, all these people. When you see him fighting a politician, bringing you facts. That is it. I hope you listened to it. I will take this call. Sorry, uh, people are just disturbing me on calls, you know, but we must continue. I hope you listen to that video that I show you. This was done two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Let me bring another one, which I did on my page the same two weeks ago, the same two weeks ago. I want you to also listen to that one. Listen to that one. I want to be hearing from me. I want to also. In Biafra land, mostly, if you are AP, P, APC, and I am PDP, and I have problem with you, I will take all your record, and I will go and give it to autopilot to debunk you. If you are a reverend father, and I am a reverend father, because me and you, we are not in a good term, I will give your record to autopilot to debunk you. <laughs> that is what is going on. And I don't want to comment much on that because the Bible call it let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> that is the reason why I, it is not going to move me because, you know, they will at the end of the day do one or two that will, you know, that will be significant. But at the end of the day, the evil that men do dwells with them. The evil that man does do well with them. That is how it is. Because in the at the end of the day, look at what Nelly is writing here. And there is a voice, there is something these people who are gone. If you hear what the Agaba said this morning, this early morning. So I hope you listen to that voice. Where I actually wanted you to listen to is the time where uh, well, if you are a reverend father, you believe there is something you supposed to, you know, you know, there is in information you have about another reverend father. You pass it to these people. They will use it. They will do that, you know, what you wanted to do. If you remember that week, two weeks ago, when Eberima in Finland was doing a broadcast, Bishop, that matter, and you, you ask yourself, where did he get those informations from? Did you ask yourself? No, of course, you did not ask yourself where he got those informations from. Me, myself, immediately I saw it. I knew exactly where that information came from. 
So that is the reason why. I, I just kept quiet. I made the statement because I know a day like this will come. I know a day like this will come. And the reason why I am going to be addressing Father Mbaka and ad advising him, you know, also, is because Father Mbaka, you know, he went astray before he came back. You know, he realized that what we are doing is a just cause. You know, he came back. We accepted him because he is one of our own and will always be. But the most important thing is that he should not allow himself to be, you know, to get caught on a crossfire. Do not allow yourself, Adam Baka, to get caught on a crossfire. The reason why I am saying this, you know, even if we do not get the number I need here, we are going to do it as well in a ra in rapture media and Biafra time, even if we do not get the number I need here. But this message that I am sending must get to Fadambaka and the other these clergymen that want to bring themselves into the crossfire. Now, what my advice to Fadambaka is that Fadambaka, I know there are many things that is going on within your end. I know there are many things that is happening, you know, within you and the other, other clergymen around you. But do not try to settle that cause using IPOB as a leverage or using Biafra. we are seriously under attack we are seriously under attack but we must continue so as i like i was saying father Mbaka, do not try to use ipob as a leverage in order to sort some issues that you have with other reverend fathers we are here to fight for freedom we are not here to be a weapon for anybody we are not here to be a weapon to politicians we are not here to be a weapon to crazy people we are not here to you know we only get involved in your own people in, in when things that you are doing is actually working against what we are doing we will have your time but if the things you are doing like i said even with the people who call themselves unknown government with the people who call themselves this other group that group outside ipop as long as you do things and it does not involve ipop as long as you do things you do not use ipop as your leverage i don't have a problem with you because this Biafra restoration that I am involved with is the one led by IPOB. Is the one led by Mazen Namdekano. It is the Biafra restoration that I am involved with. And at the end of this, we are going to achieve Biafra, regardless of what enemy or unfriendly friends think about it. We are going to achieve Biafra. The reason why I am giving you this advice for Dambaka, because next time it might not be a friendly advice. Next time it might be a direct, a direct attack on you. Because, you know, you are a reverend father who is supposed to be managing and minding your business you know, you are not supposed to use IPOB in any way. And because you have used a Berima who claim that he is a part of IPOB, because he did something for you and you return the favor by, you know, standing in your congregation, telling your congregation that a, a Simon Epa, 
told you not even go there to stop sit at home and you bought the story of Simon Epa that he told you that you should not go there to stop sit at home and you bought that story because I and of course I know that you are returning this favor that he did for you with regards to the informations that you have passed through him. I know, but I want to make bring it to your notice. No one uses IPOB. No one uses Biafra struggle as a leverage in anything. We are not into politics. We are not into religion. We are not, we are into freedom fighting. And this freedom fighting that we are into, we, are, we don't even care if it is our parents, if it is my mom, I will address her the same way I am addressing you. If you come out in public to show us that there is something about you, I will address you like there is something about you. Because this statement you made, maybe two days ago, about to Simon Epa telling you that sit at home, you should not go there and you bought it. You know, it is a shame. It is a shame. As long as you said you thought about it, you bought it, and you named, you came to your congregation, you mentioned his name to keep making him relevant that, you know, Gullibles will believe that this man is in line with the Biafra restoration Mazen Namdekan set up to be. Father Mbaka, there are many things, there are things I am going to show you in case if you have been listening to Simon Epa and you have not been paying attention to followers and the members of IPOB. Followers of Mazen Namdekanu, which Simon Epa claimed that he is, you know, enforcing it at home to help. I am going to bring it to your notice, you know, in a friendly manner. I am going to bring it to your notice in a friendly manner. The reason why I am going to bring it to your notice in a friendly manner is because I can assume that you are not aware of what is going on. I can assume that personally, Simon Epa contacted you and brainwashed you that you may be, you know, that, you know, he brainwashed you to the extent that you do not know the atrocities Simon Epa is committing in Biafra land. You do not know the weight of, you know, what Simon Eba is doing in the struggle led by Mazen Namdekan. You do not know that Simon Eba's activities, you know, is all for to prescribe IPOP. And as long as I am part of IPOP, IPOP can never be prescribed due to nonchalant behavior of you or any other person. Because you are not a member of IPOB. If IPOB is proscribed, you are not in trouble. You will continue to be preaching whatever you are preaching in your in your in your altar and you will continue to be, you know, waxing strong. If IPOB is proscribed, it means that Mazen Namdekano's effort is gone down the drain. We are more diplomatic in this quest for freedom. We are not emotional. We are not emotional. We are more diplomatic. We are more irrational. We are not emotional. The leader of this movement says that the DOS we must listen to. I know that I am getting this message to you, Father Mbaka. That is the reason why I am going to reiterate on the place where the leader of this movement
told us that we must re listen to the DOS. Let me go ahead and play it to you because I am going to be reminding you, bringing it to you, so that by the time this broadcast will get to you, you will understand that you are the leader of adoration movement or adoration. There is no other person who will rise up just because you are not available and claim and sack every other you know, reverend that you have give, put in a place, in a position to replace you when, they are, when you are not there. I don't believe that according to your doctrine, according to your philosophy, according to your teaching, it is not in line. It is not in order. It is not obtainable or sustainable. It is not. You cannot tell me that somebody will come from nowhere just because you and that person, you have a communication relationship. At the end of the day, you are out of the town and you handed over a senior reverend father to lead your adoration ground. And this person, because he's always with, you know, he's always communicating with you, he will come to over overthrow that person you gave this mantle. You left that mantle with before you travel or before you go somewhere and they will tell other people other adoration members and other workers in the adoration that this man is a criminal therefore you should not listen to him this man is this that man is that when you hear about that will you take it easy with that person which you say you give the power to lead adoration if they eventually give up to the request or to the you know you know black blackmailing of the other party will you tell that person you did good by giving up no you will not will you allow that person if you are indeed a place where you can communicate will you allow the person which you did not give that mount to lead adoration ground that come because he knows there is money involved because he is a money monger he he is a, he want to be relevant you know he come to hijack the leadership in adoration in your absence when you place somebody to lead adoration is that are you going to condone it because we are here now to judge ourselves we are here now to judge ourselves according to our work according to our work because if you cannot take it easy with that person just because they know you, they now come and to sideline with propaganda, the leader you place to lead your adoration, the one you most trusted ally to lead your adoration ground. I don't think you will like it. So if you cannot like it, if you are not going to like it, there is a saying that says, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. So, Father Mbaka, I have given you a background of what I am about to show you. Now, let me present to you the people which Mazen Namdekanu say that they are the leader of this movement. In his absence, let me present it to you. Listen and listen attentively. Anybody not following anything that DOS says goes. Anybody not following orders from TK, dossier from DOS, you will be removed and sanctioned appropriately. You know, before we remove you without knowing where you are, this time around, we will catch you before we remove you. Anything DOS says is what goes. Ms. Rumite is heading our reconciliation committee. DOS says goes. Anybody not following orders from the DOS, they will be removed. They, it's not only just removed. This is a commandment. This is a commandment. And you are, in, you know, when you are in your auditorium, Father Mbaka, and you heard this, the Mazen Namdekan, who, lead, who is the leader of the IPOP, 
the you know the people who are in forefront of restoration of Biafra, you know, as a sovereign nation. That Mazen Namdekan, who lead this movement, say that we should take orders from the DOS. Anybody who is not taking orders from the DOS, they should be removed. And not only that they are going to be removed, they will wait. There will be people on the ground waiting for them because they took an oath to obey the command and control. That is the reason why there will be people out there to, you know, apprehend them, not just to be removed. They will be apprehended. Are you paying attention? At the end of it, you come to tell me that Simon Epa told you that the leaders Mazen Namdekan, which you are saying that you are championing his cause, that you are saying that he's your brother, that you are saying that he is, you know, he, you know, that he did a marvelous job by making our farmers to go to farm in peace. It is his, it is his leadership that made our bushes to be safe today. And you stand in your auditorium. And you recognize somebody who is an infiltrator to the movement led by that same person that you are praying in your church in order for him to be released. The same person that you show your respect that the farmers are going to farm peacefully without being killed or cut into pieces by the Fulani headsman. Mazen Namdekano, he told us to pay attention and follow command from the DOS, the highest office in, you know, the highest command in the structure of IPOB. The highest command in, you know, in the structure of IPOB led by Mazen Namdekano. He told us to, you know, he gave us this structure, give us the leadership in the structure that when he is not there, we pay attention to them. So, because he is not there, somebody, just because Mazen Namdekano granted an interview with this guy, and this guy came up to tell you that, you know, the struggle has gone into autopilot. We should disregard the command and control, the central command that has been taking this IPOB from this 2015, right from when Mazen Namdekano, you know, went to prison. We should disregard it, that he has, he is now the leader. Let me remind you, Father Mbaka, that this person that you are championing his cause today told us to listen to the DOS. Of course, I have told you. I have played it for you. If you are indeed, you know, if you are indeed a lover of Mazen Namdekano, I believe that you should be a lover of the truth when it comes to that. Mazen Namdekano, led IPOB, you know, is led by the DOS. And Mazen Namdekano never said otherwise. And you went ahead, you know, you go and tell us that sit at home in your big auditorium. You said that sit at home must, you know, will not stop. No one is stopping sit at home. You did not actually tell them or make this statement in this manner. Let me teach you how you were supposed to make that statement if you are indeed genuine if you are indeed genuine with regards to ipob and biafra restoration activities let me teach you how you're supposed to make that statement if you are genuine or you did it because you did not know what to follow you're supposed to say that sit at home cannot stop until Mazen Namdekanu is released. You said it, I, I give it to you. Now, you're supposed to say that people who are using the sit at home or enforcing that sit at home should put their sword back 
to their, you know, family because there are people who depend on menial job to survive. They cannot go hungry. Let the voluntary sit at home continue. Had it been you mentioned it that way, I will know that what you are saying, you are saying it as a person of a great influence who risen before the present. But rather, you said that you are the same, same person, who, first person who presented for the seat at home to stop. But Simon Epa told you, let me actually play it so that you people will hear what Father Mbaka said and who this Simon Epa is. Yes, I I never better the one I Over Tata, sister Tomah Kosata. Simon, Now the responsibility upon us to pray out that our brother. I hope that you are paying attention to it. We are still under attack. They don't want us to do this program. But this program will finish. And we are going to take it to a, big, a bigger stage. We are going to take it to a bigger stage. So when I tell you the whole world is listening, you must understand that even if it is, you know, Two people that are there. The whole world is listening. They cannot stop us. They cannot stop us. Regardless of what they are doing. They cannot stop us. You know. Listen to what Father Mbaka said. He said that. He, Simon, eh, but it, you know. It means that this is a personal conversation. This is a personal conversation. You know. It is beyond. Ordinary, you know, uh, as you know, ordinary, you know, broadcast. The way he narrated, you know, that it means that there is a, you know, private conversation which led him to be confused. If indeed he is confused, listen to it again. Is I? I never better my camera away. Number. <laughs> Oh, well, Simon, eh, but well, boy, I will go see ya. Say, I will look at it at home, as all ya. Because no, but it is the, let me tell you the reason why Simon, eh, but you know, told you to will sit at home, so look at Father Mbaka. Because the reason why I am actually giving you this thing as an advice and a friendly notice is because, is because, you know, you have not done something, you know, like this ever since prior to the time Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped in Kenya. But I, you have, you did this thing now. I am going to give you a warning. I am going to give you an advice because you are our friend until otherwise. We are not uncivilized. We are civilized people. That is the reason why I am giving you a friendly advice now simon eh, now told you that you will sit at home as earlier then you will sit at home as earlier forgetting that there are people who do menial job to survive on monday that they depend on that daily income to survive 
And at the end of the day, the reason why Oji Sigi Waluti sit at home as Solia is because it is the only thing he believed that is making him relevant in this struggle. The same reason why Oji Sigi Waluti sit at home as Solia is for people to believe that Simon Eba is in charge of the ESN. That is one of the reasons why he told you, give a look sit at home as Solia. I don't know if you were brainwashed by Simon Eba. I don't know if you know the truth or you are among all these, you know, clergymen who have sold their soul that they do not understand Anyan and Eren and Kalalala, that they are using their influence to make this man who is here to destroy the activities of IPOB. To make him to make the world believe because when it comes to religion our people are myopic when it comes to religion our people are gullible that is the reason why so many of these clergymen are using their religious platform to make this guy to present this guy as if he is doing a great job some of them even presented it as if he is doing a great job more than Mazen Namdekano. And to avoid you bringing yourself in a crossfire, abstain from the activities of Simon Epa. It will lead you, you know, to be always on the news. It is an advice. Simon is now on the news and he will leave no stone unturned than to drag one of you down to the news we are not doing catholicism here i know he's a roman catholic and that is the reason why you people are you know you know communicating i buy that maybe you are his prayer warrior or, or his prayer a spiritual or religious father i don't know but your activities with him keep it personal don't bring it to the public because you are hurting our struggle by bringing it to the public i know the intellectual that are watching me you will understand exactly what i am saying here i am not you know saying something that does not exist now to show you that i am not saying something that does not exist number one before we go to other videos and that i believe that you Fadam Baka, you have not seen those videos you have not seen them. You know, I want to, I'm going to bring you to, to those videos. I am going to bring you to those videos. Now, so that you as Father Mbaka, as a, as a clergyman that control auditorium, you will be cautious of, you know, you will be conscious of what you say. If you don't have the, you know, the full story of what is going on. because. If I may tell you, it's either you are, two things are involved here. It's either you were brainwashed by Simon Eba, or you use this, what you, did, you said here, as a leverage with regards to, you know, the connection between you and Simon Eba, which I do not want to bring here. It is not the reason why I am here. I am not here to attack you. I am not here to, you know, do, you know, I am here to I guide you. In that Bible that you read, the Bible say, iron sharpened iron. And that is the reason why I am here to sharpen, to sharpen you. And no one is above mistake. And I see it as a mistake that you made. That is the reason why I am here to correct it. When you look at the picture in this video that you see here, picture of the same Simon, how he began to, you know, go into the head of our people. How he began to get, go into the head of our people. He made a Photoshop of some, you know, people that matters in Finland. If you look at this picture right in front of you, you will understand that what we are saying, 
we are not here to blackmail anybody but we do not want anybody who will bring you know you know what is called um mental slavery you know to brainwash our people again we don't want it it is we are against it he made a photoshop he presented it to our people he said that people believe he's not relevant that this is so 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 person that he is relevant he, he, you know if you look at this picture right in front of that photo you will understand that it is a photoshop that is one of the things I was following Simon, eh, but just like you are following him, just like you were listening to him, but I do, I was not following him sheepishly. Uh, shippish, uh, I was following him consciously because anybody who preached the restoration of Biafra, I will follow you and I will make sure that I understand your activities. That is the reason why I was following him. I was supporting him. I was sharing his videos. I was, you know, I was, you know, following him. I promoted what he was promoting, believing that we are in the same, you know, we are in the same page. Only to find out that he is a power monger. That is the reason why he allowed this woman in the USA to recruit him to be the enemy of this movement. And the worst thing that happened to this guy is meeting those women because he liked women, he listened to them and they misguided him. And that is where I want to bring your mind today, Reverend Father Mbaka, that the person that you use your auditorium to, you know, your altar to say that he called you and say that, is the, you know, you will sit at home as all, yeah. You did not utter this word as a press, you know, in, in a man of your caliber is not supposed to be bringing yourself in between, you know, a, a situation that you did not investigate properly, you know, because I, 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 at the end of the day, some of you will now, now say that, uh, uh, the spirit he told you, like the woman who said, oh, he told her, you know, this Simon Eber is so manipulative that he started using this clergy, some of this, you know, clergymen, using them to back up his claim. That all of them, sheepishly, they are now advocating that he is doing a great job, even when he is leading people into their destruction. Ask you as a father Mbaka, ask Simon, eh, but ever since he started this, how many of our people have died in his hands? Ask him. In the hands of him and Nelly of Fable, if he is going, in fact, he's a Catholic, bring him to confession room so that he will confess if indeed confession room make people to tell the truth. Bring him, present him to the confession room to tell you how many people have died in, in, the, in his hands. In the hand of this Berima in Finland or Simon, you may, you may know, as you may know it, and Nelly of Fable, which the both of them are promo propagating and promoting the same thing. And I am going to prove that to you. Of course, I have showed you the picture. This is one of them. He actually cropped himself placed next to the Finland president in order to deceive our people. I do a fact check in all those images. I did a fact check in Finland to find out the activities of this guy to only to discover that, you know, these things that he presented to us is nothing but a fraudulent ones just to buy relevant in the struggle in order to start, you know, exploiting our people. Or have you not heard that Simon Epa took money from people in the name of doing visa? Reverend Father Mbaka, have you not heard that he, you know, he exploited some people, you know, in the name that he does visa? This is the Simon Epa's, you know, credentials or company credentials the one he used to set up as a visa agent have you not heard that these are part of this you know this is the 1000 euro somebody paid this is the confirmation of the message 
that he collected from those people, did he deliver? No, he did not. That's what prompted these people to come and bring out all this information. To come and bring out all this information. Now, as if it, it is not enough, I am going to bring you the one that will shock you the most. I am going to bring you the one that is going to shock you the most. Then you will be able to know the person you are dealing with. Whether he is, you are returning a favor that he did for you by using his name in auditorium for the whole world to, you know, for us to be for gullible among Biafrans to be confused and not tag him a criminal that he, he, he is in this IPOB movement. Like I said to you, you cannot leave somebody to be in charge of your adoration ground and somebody else come from nowhere just because you are not communicating and say they are in charge now. You will not be happy, right? Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Simon Eba is nobody in Biafra, you know, in IPOB. He is not an IPOB member. He is just a power monger who just came from his, you know, from his shell and started trying to start calling a shot. He did it first time. He saw that it happened, you know, it, it worked for him. He continued doing it. And, uh, you know, before we began to know the people, his accomplices, the women in America. They have stolen 745,000 US dollars from money that belongs to those men that you are praising that they kept our bushes and our walls safe. They use it to bring, to create their own rebels, which I am, of course, going to show you as well. Then after you seeing all those things, you will tell me, Reverend Father Mbaka, if what you did is just... If what you did, according to your philosophy, according to your belief, if what you did two days ago by saying Simon called you and you decided not to say the truth because Simon called you, the truth is, is that those who are sitting at home voluntarily, those who are sitting at home voluntarily, they should continue to sit at home. But those who does not have a choice, but they must come out, no one is supposed to enforce any sit at home because Mazen Namde cannot cancel the sit at home. That is what so your message is supposed to be like because our people are dying in the name of enforcing sit at home. Our people, you know, properties, livelihood are being ruined in the name of enforcing sit at home. And at the end of the day, he used Mazen Namde Kano's name and IPOB's name. Because he's not a member of IPOB. If IPOB is proscribed tomorrow, but my Finland will not feel it because he's not a member of IPOB. Are you paying attention, my Reverend Fadambaka? I am very, very calm, you know, sending this message to you. I am very, very calm because it is my first time of, you know, addressing the issue with regards to you. So I hope you are paying attention to what i am saying now let us continue let us continue reverend father Mbaka, i want you to listen to this video listen to this video then you will tell me if indeed ipob we that are i know promoting dos under the command of Mazen Namdekan, the same way adoration ground is at your command. The same way adoration ground is at your command and no one will step in there to tell you different or no one will step in there to tell anybody which you give that authority to be there, to tell them different. Now, listen to the people Simon Eba is working with. Listen to them. Because they are very, very constructive in their activities that they do not want to know, want you to know that they are linked. They are the same people. They are in the same platform or they are in the same, you know, activities. Listen. That's when other people will begin to recognize us. So, my dear, I'm going to tell you for the last time, 
Nobody knows Biafra. It's not an international name. Nobody knows Biafra. Go, it doesn't matter. Start screaming from today till tomorrow. Nobody will understand what you mean. Mm -hmm. Because spiritually, Biafra does not exist. Biafra is an illusion. Biafra is a cause. Biafra is killing. So, Reverend Father Mbaka, I want to ask you, if somebody wake up and tell you that Roman Catholic does not exist, of course, you will not believe in them, right? Because you were born and brought up in Roman Catholic. If you did not go to Rome and hear it from Rome, you know, of course, you will call that person an idiot, right? Mm -hmm. Because that is your philosophy, where you were, you, you know, you, 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 you are leading your congregation under this platform called Catholic, you know, Catholic. If somebody start condemning Catholic today, you know, you will not buy the idea. You will not buy the idea because it is the platform that gave you that auditorium. And now, Mazen Nam Dekano, that you are praying for him to come out. The same Simon Eba and his group are telling you that what Mazen Nam Dekano is suffering from, for in the DSS dungeon, what our people died for in 1967 prior to 1970 till date does not exist. I don't think you will take it well or you will digest it well. I don't think so. But at the end of the day, we are here to make justice to what you said a few days ago that Simon Eber told you. Because psychologically, you have done a lot of damages with only that word you say because you control the mass congregation you have done a lot of damages you know simon ever is looking for a platform that will exonerate him from his criminal activities in ipob and the same people whom you claim that they are doing well which is mazen nam the kano led struggle somebody come to tell us it does not exist that it, it is dead and Simon Eba confirmed that the woman is not doing anything wrong. At the end of the day, what have you to say in that regard? Let us continue. The person who is there calling me, I told you I am busy. I cannot take your call right now. Please, I am busy. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much for that. So, um let us listen and we are going to see the response of Simon in all this shenanigan. This is just okay. Before we see the response of Simon, let us actually bring something. Let us okay, let us finish with this before we get to him. in debt, destruction. I can't emphasize this uh, more than this. Exactly, Dr. Nelly. Please, can you allow people that want to answer Biafra to answer Biafra? Please. Mm -hmm. Please. I, don't, I don't want people dying because some, some fool put something that only do one deal. Did you hear that? At least this um, Bob Rinsky of Akwaibom is bold enough to tell Nelly Please, can you allow people who want to answer Biafra to answer Biafra? He is bold enough, but in Finland, which you know, you know, as Simon Epa, Parambaka, is not, you know, bold enough to correct this here, you know, her boss. This woman talking is the boss of Simon Epa. In case if you don't know, you will know. And I am going to prove it to you. The reason why we call it, we call this woman the boss of Simon, eh? but just listen and pay attention. Straight message to Reverend Father Mbaka. Biafra or death? 
How can anybody tell you Biafra or death? But if it's Biafra or death, aren't you happy that Martin Mandekan already died that day? How can anybody tell you it's Biafra or death? Who made that statement? Who made that statement? Was it me and you? Who made that statement that everybody is making today? It was Mazen Namdekanu. Now Mazen Namdekanu is now anybody. How can anybody tell you it's Biafra or death? How can anybody tell you it's Biafra or death? So these are the people he's working with. Listen and listen attentively. He died for us. He died for Biafra. And you still don't understand. Biafra or death. There's no Biafra. That's why he died in Kenya. And if you people don't believe me that he... And they told you that Mazen Namdekano died in Kenya. They told you that Mazen Namdekano died in Kenya. So Mazen Namdekano died in Kenya. It is this same woman who is boss of Simon from California in United States. Travel to Kenya to go and resuscitate Mazen Namdekano. Or she travel, or the people they sold Mazen Namdekano two things involved. Are you paying attention? Told him or gave him the news that Mazen Namdekano died. It's either they told him that Mazen Namdekano is dead, though, without them knowing that he just passed out. And she starts bringing it to you to tell you Mazen Namdekano died. And uh, probably she is the one who went to resuscitate Mazen Namdekano or give Mazen Namdekano CPR. Now, he tell you Biafra Mazen Namdekano died. He died with all, with all of it. So that tomorrow when Mazen Namdekano come, they will tell you that they have cloned him. So that Nigeria government will get their revenge that Mazen Namdekano exposed the dead Buhari. Are you paying attention? Because the more we talk about this, the more I know where it is going. The more I will talk about it, the more I know where it is going. He is, she is telling you Mazen Namdekano died so that tomorrow when Mazen Namdekano come and expose their activities, he will tell you, no, this is a clone Mazen Namdekano. In the same way they cloned the man in Asorok. <laughs> I hope you know the, 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 the strategies, the Nigeria um, recruited uh, media people started using when Mazen Namdekano informed them that Buhari is dead. They started telling us Mazen Namdekano is dead. I hope you remember. If you are rem if you pay attention to the media, you will remember. They started telling us that Mazen Namdekano is dead. Then when Mazen Namdekano it prompted Mazen Namdekano actually to do a live program and tell them to tell Buhari to do a live program where people will be calling him and asking him questions. And he must speak in the in the in his dialect. Do you remember? Of course, we do not forget. We don't. We use the past to judge the present. That is what is going on. Now, listen attentively so that tomorrow when they tell you that Mazen Namdekanu is a clone man, you wouldn't be surprised. Of course, some of you Galeb Golebo are now following what is going on. Now, listen. He died in Kenya. Time will, time will prove me right. He died. Biafra or death. He already died. Why would you die for, for, some, for a death that somebody already died? Christ came and died. Why are you dying again? It's only ignorance that is going to make you die. You're going to die because of your ignorance. Not because he has not done. You're waiting for him to start screaming from DSS dungeon. Oh, you, we don't have to die for Biafra anymore. Oh, he, he already paid the price. He's our leader. He's the one that is preaching Biafra or death. He died. So you know he's the one preaching Biafra or dead, but or dead, but you say you can't let anybody, anybody come and tell you it's Biafra or dead. Are you seeing are you listening to her contradicting herself? I want you, you know, Reverend Father Mbaka, I am doing all this for you to see so that you will retract your step. So that you will retract your step. If you are indeed 
following this movement led by Mazen Namdekanu, knowing that he is going to take us to the promised land, you need to retract your step as fast as possible. Listen and listen attentively. Right. And if you don't believe me, you will you will feel sorry when you realize that you already died and you're not supposed to be dying for Biafra. Biafra does not exist. Biafra or death. Yes, we got death. We've been getting death because there's nothing like Biafra. And I'll keep telling you the truth until people who are listening, who are already ordained to understand, are understanding. People like uh, the other person, it's probably they might die for Biafra. That's their business. Biafra does not exist. Thank you. Somebody sent. Now, before we play the path of the leader of autopilot, let us bring something else before we play the path of the leader of the autopilot. Even if I don't get the time to cover all these other pastors, which I want to talk about today, it is okay. Tomorrow will be another day for them. Let me get let me get this clip where you will understand or where you will realize that these people these people they have actually they have actually you know did a lot in this struggle. I am very, very disappointed. I am disappointed. But not that disappointed because I know a lot of pastors. I know their activities. But let me, I want you to wait. I want you to wait and listen to this woman. This is part of the syndicate led by Simon Epp in the media. So if there is anything this syndicate, you know, does wrong, Simon Epp is supposed to be the one addressing them. But eventually, if there is anything done wrong, because when Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped by um, Kenya, gov um, Kenya government and the Nigeria government, do you know what happened? What happened was that when he was kidnapped, then everything that the activities of IPOP in the media, Nigeria government started investigating it in order to use it to write 15 count charges. <laughs> Are you paying attention? In order to use, use it to write 15 count charges. And because they know that these people are under the leadership of Mazen Namdekanu. That is the reason why they did what that. Now, you cannot tell me that in the in a in the in a syndicate where Simon is known to be the leader of that syndicate, they will be opening their mouth, talking all sort of evil against Mazen Namdekanu, against the struggle to the extent of telling you that Mazen Namdekano died and Biafra is no more. You know, you are going to come, you believe it, and you did not address it. <laughs> you did not address it. I don't know why I cannot get this video. I'm trying to collect this video, but it is not allowing me I am trying to extract this video, but it's not allowing me. But let me see if we have to refresh. If it does not upload now, we have to refresh. Okay, we really have to refresh. Just one moment. Let me refresh.
We are having it very, very difficult, but we must proceed. We must proceed. Okay, now let me try to bring it again back to you to see if it is going to enable us. If otherwise, you know, we will find a way to play it. Ah, it is not. Let's try again. Okay, I can, I'm not able to get this uploaded into the studio. Your device is having trouble showing it. Try showing it. Okay, I am not. Uh, it is not allowing me to upload that video into the studio or to bring that video into the studio. But I hope it is going to eventually allow me because I want to connect the dot. When I connect the dot. That whoever that is in you know listening or paying attention will understand what we are you know lamenting about. Now it is not allowing me, but let's continue. Maybe the the reception will stabilize. Now listen to the response of. Simon Epa, Reverend Father Mbaka, listen to the response of Simon Epa with regards to all these things that this woman just said. Now listen to the response. Me a video yesterday that uh, I said Nelly Ofebu is. me and I am Nelly Ofebu. Yes, Nelly Ofebu is me and I am Nelly Ofebu. Did you listen to it? Nelly Ofebu is him and he is Nelly Ofebu. I hope you listen to it. Who is Nelly Ofebu, the leader of this, the one who brought you do? The same woman who went ahead to hijack the structure of IPOP. In case if you are not also aware, you know, I wish this will allow me to bring all this evidence that when you look at it and listen to them, Reverend Father Mbaka, then you will come back to tell us, you know, if what you did yesterday is proper. Okay, listen to this one before we Almighty go back. raised the alarm on live television that new groups may emerge in the region to counter the secessionist agitations of the indigenous people of Biafra. The governor went on to describe the two separatist groups in the region, which are IPOB and MASOB, the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. The governor said Masob had never issued threats in the region. IPOP, on the other hand, has been issuing threats and says he fears that if IPOP does not call its people to order to stop the threats and killings, other groups will rise up to counter it. So I other, group, other group will rise up to counter it. This is from Dave Omahi of Abonyi State. Connect the dot. Keep connecting the dot. And as a, you know, I know you call yourself a spiritual man. Go into the spirit while you are digesting exactly what I am bringing to you. Go also into the spirit and see if you will see anything. Let us listen. We were on the phone for hours. It was early morning my time. Young woman, the so book I of Simon Eber. We spoke. 
how she was planning to bring Simon to lead the struggle from the structure, to remove the people in the structure placed by Mazen Namdekan and re replace them with Simon Eba. For you to know, I'm bringing you the background for you to know where Simon Eba, how he, he come to where he is now. Listen. At length for hours. And this is my conversation. Uh, basically, the bottom line, I told Chino Samoru that I see the people. Samoru, he, she is talking to, is the commander of ESN. That you, do. you, you know, we all know, the whole world know. <laughs> He's the commander of ESN. The ESN, Simon, is telling you people. I don't know if you also brainwash you, Farambaka, that he is the commander of ESN. That he do because the statement you also make that Naga I don't know if you made that statement out under Durex. I don't know because but at the end of the day, I want you to retract your step after listening to this. The way you say that you heard that Simon say don't go there. Naga respect I want you to also listen to what I am telling you now. I know what exactly is in the best interest of that auditorium that you control in adoration ground. I want you to pay very good attention. People of Biafra rejecting DOS. So, and he asked me, what does that mean? I say, I cannot tell you exactly what it means, but I know I see the people of Biafra rejecting DOS. Mm -hmm. When the people of the, the same woman who saw that Mazen Namdekanu is dead in Kenya is the same woman who is uh, seeing also people rejecting the US. Not even, even, not even two weeks after the kidnap of Mazen Namdekanu, she started her underground game. She started listen and see the connection between him and the Simon Epa. Listen attentively. reject DOS, it means the spirit of Biafra has rejected DOS. And he asked me, how possible? How do I know? I said, I don't know, but this is what I am seeing. This is something that is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I want us to find a solution to figure out what we need to do. I was on the phone with Chinasa for hours. I told Chinasa, this is exactly how it's going to happen. And then when it happens, our people will be kind of hopeless. They wouldn't know where to turn to. We need some kind of structure. And then Chinasa asked me, so what do you suggest? What do we do? I said, since you are in charge of the ESN. See, are you paying attention to the people whom Mazen Namdekano placed in charge? Because your enemy will announce you. She said, since you are in charge of ESN, are you paying attention? But today, she tell you, she and the, Simon Epa tell you that they are in charge and therefore you must give them money. <laughs> you must give them your money that belongs to the ESN. Listen attentively. If you are joining us, share this video and a lot other, sp other people to join. I know that they are reporting the video. We are not going to have the number that we need here, but we are going to the bigger auditorium. Now, if we cannot get the number we want here, we will get it somewhere else, but share this video. Make sure it gets to Farambaka. It will help you in this quest for freedom because we are fighting a just cause and we must be whiter than white and whiter than snow. Let us continue. And since we know that Chukwu Kike has rejected DOS, because I told him, I see the people of Biafra rejecting DOS. It doesn't matter how much he denies. It's going to happen. It's already happening. Only I told Chinasa, know. what we can do is to try to figure out, you know, maybe we can uh, try, instead of saying DOS, we can change from DOS command to ESN command. She want to change it from what Mazen Namdekano called it in order to steal it. The same way she want to change Biafra that she claimed that Mazen Namdekano died with in, the, in, the, in the Kenya. To change it to Idu in order to hijack it. 
in order to steal the you know the struggle to use it as a you know political party just like Uchamo for whom is also working with all of these people you know you know demanded actually that we must turn it into a political party that is what is going on now listen Farambaka listen And he asked me, I said, since you're able to speak to, to the people, and then as long as ESN is concerned from this side in the diaspora in DOS, you are the one in charge. Mm -hmm. So maybe from there, you can, we can start there to address the people. Mm -hmm. But definitely, that DOS has been rejected because there's a demonic hold on DOS. I said, there are people who have done real terrible things in DOS, and that's why. Elohim have rejected DOS. And then we have to do something real quickly. Because we don't want our people to be like wandering, like people wandering in the wilderness without direction. I said our people have so much faith in DOS because our leader, Mazin Nandekanu, told us that DOS... Because they know that our people have so much faith in the DOS. And they know that if they don't start fighting from underground to destroy DOS, they will not get the you know, attention of our people. That is the reason why they start feeding to our people. DOS is a criminal. DOS is this. Chike Dosian went to Nigeria to drive a jeep. China Samoru went to Nigeria to drive a jeep. They concocted all these lies without any proof. At the end of the day, they won over those, you know, gullible followers or gullible passerbys that listen to Marcel Namdekano. And plus the recruited agent by Sly Mohammed to go and keep sponsor, supporting anybody that is against IPOB. These are the people you see supporting him today. So, Regardless of whom you are, if you do not want us to see you as one of these recruited agents by Brian Mohammed, don't bring yourself to this crossfire. Do not bring yourself, be you clergyman, be you reverend, whoever you are. If you bring yourself in this crossfire, we are going to crush you. Pay very good attention. This is the time of our working and no longer the time of the sitting, the saving our people. I don't want to go a wall on Farambaka because I still believe that, you know, you were manipulated. That is the reason why I don't want to go a wall on you. But let us continue. DOS is the administrative structure. That's the head that we see. I say that what I see that is going to happen is going to be very terrible. At a point, people will no longer listen to the ear. They don't want to, they wouldn't want to hear DOS anymore. Mm -hmm. I say we can do something. We, you can announce that we, we are no longer in DOS uh, uh, um, command and control to ESN. Mm -hmm. So probably changing the name can help. If there's anything that DOS has done, that we can pray for God to forgive us, but we need a structure. We need something that people can look onto. I wouldn't go into the details of what we spoke, but when the right time comes, listen attentively. I'm going to details. I don't record people, but I believe he recorded the conversation. That's your so story. he, That's if he's you. bold enough, let him bring the tape out for people to listen to our conversation. But what I'm going to tell the Afrian people is that all our conversation was going on well. Mm -hmm. Everything was going on well. Mm -hmm. Until I mentioned the name Simon Eba. Until she mentioned the name Simon Eba. Listen to it again. When I mentioned Simon Eba, that's when all hell broke loose. That's when all hell broke, broke loose. Farambaka, did you hear that? And among all the clergymen that is, you know, so-called clergymen that are listening, I hope you are paying attention. Because next time, I will not be polite because we want our freedom. We don't, you know, we don't take no for an answer. We can never co be compromised. 
when he mentioned Simon, eh, but that's when they have called him, tuned him like a radio. Now, give him an offer. This is what we want to do. And you are the only person that is in, in this position to do it for us. That's when they began and how they began. Pay very good attention to this now. The same people that they are working with, I am trying to, you know, bring it quickly so that you will listen. Listen to another person that is working with Simon eh, but in the same syndicate called Autopilot and he do. The one they said, Autopilot, you do the side of the truth. I hope you are paying attention. Listen, Father Mbaka, please listen and pay attention. Listen. So if you push me now, who not the panel wife now, shall we? Because he, he leave the house, man, go to sleep with another man. Yes. Now, shall we? Now, prostitute. He's a prostitute. He's not a fortune maker. He said, who not the panel wife, uh, use the papa money? Because the papa na uh, uh, all, the, all Jews of canon now they pay him. Now, the part of money where they, they pay papa, now they carry him to uh, London. If you want me with dig her, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's not, uh, I'm not feeling it that I was actually, but if you want me to dig it. You see, they are even working with a confirmed that Shawo way no get shame for public to call herself a Shawo. She is not feeling it that she is a Shawo, but she is calling Mazen Nam the Kano's wife a Shawo. Father Mbaka Mazen Nam the Kano is suffering for you. Faram Bakamazen Nam the Kanu is suffering for me. Faram Bakamazen Nam the Kanu is suffering for the auditorium of your adoration. For them to be free from this structure called Nigeria that is killing and making them not to achieve what they're supposed to achieve even in their youth. That they have to go and do money ritual. They have to kill their parents. In order just to make, put food on the table. That is what Nigeria have done to our people. So, the same man, which I know that the, the you know the wife is the you know you know is is actually the the pride of Mazen Namdekano is the wife. The pride of Mazen Namdekano is the wife. And the Mazen Nam de Kano or any member or family of Mazen Nam de Kano did not come and tell us that Mazen Nam de Kano's wife is doing something wrong. But this woman who confirmed that she is a Shao in Norway, Costa calling Mazen Nam de Kano's wife a Shao, start telling that it is all Jews or Carlos money that send Mazen Nam de Kano to UK. It is not my word. It is the word of the members of the syndicate that Simon Epa is working with. Listen and listen attentively before we go to the, you know, what Simon has to say about all these things. To dig it. You may not say for not push me. What you may not suppose the year. Now, true, my brothers and sisters, I'm not the kind of wife, not thief. Not thief. It's not thief. It's bad house for, for London. You don't relocate. Not thief. You know, we be innocent people. More than not, they put our money for IP or be not tell now. I don't tell, I don't tell you what I don't know. It's a criminal. She's a thief. The priest. Mm. I'll push. Show you it for people private car. Oh, mm. Did you hear that? Farambaka, did you hear that? These are the people Simon is working with. And he never come out to address them. Let me tell you, when people pushed him to address them, let me tell you how he did. Listen. Probably they might die for Biafra. That's their business. Biafra does not exist. Thank okay. you. Let me show. I Somebody want to sent me a video yesterday mm -hmm. that 
Uh, I said Nelly Ofebu is me, and I am Nelly Ofebu. Yes, Nelly Ofebu is me, and I am Nelly Ofebu. Did you hear that? Nelly Ofebu is Simon, and Simon is Nelly Ofebu. And now you come to tell me, according to your philosophy, Father Mbaka, I don't, you know, I don't buy in, in your philosophy, but I am just trying to control myself not to talk about it. Because I want to address the matter arising, the matter that is at hand. The man that says, Nelly Ofebu, the one who said that Biafra is dead. The one who said Mazen Namdekano is dead. The one who said that there is nothing like Biafra anymore. The one who is working against Mazen Namdekano. The one who opened her mouth to say that Mazen Namdekano's wife is a thief. That who gave her money to relocate, to be lobbying. That is the, you know, the comments of Nelly. The only thing Simon has to say about this same woman is that this same woman is him and he is yesterday that uh i said nelly ofebu is me and i am nelly ofebu yes nelly ofebu is me and i'm nelly ofebu did you hear that did you hear that show me your friends i will tell you whom you are Show me your friend. I will tell you whom you are. So, if Father Mbaka, you are indeed a friend to these people and you believe in the philosophy of these people, it means that what you are doing in your altar to say, let us pray for Mazen Nam the Kano, it is hypocritical or he's a hypocrite. It is hypocrisy. If I must put it that way, if you are indeed a true believer of these people's philosophy, if you are indeed a true believer of Simon Epa, or if you are indeed among those people who say that Chupokikabi Amatozi him, it means that you are praying as a hypocrite in that altar. If you know, I didn't say you are hypocrite. But if you know that you are believing in the activities of these people called autopilot, that makes you a hypocrite. Let us, let us continue. Let us continue. All of you there, David, the good man, David, the good man, you know, your head will turn to become bloody red. <laughs> Your head will turn to become bloody red because truth is bitter. You are sending me a red head when I am hitting the truth. When I am showing you as it is presenting itself. These are not my word. They are the word of the person that we are talking about here. Now, I want all of you who are intellectual. I want all of you who are, you know, wise, you know, who are wise, you know, to judge, to see this message that I am sending to uh, Father Mbaka, if it is indeed just. Let us play what Father Mbaka said one more time for you to understand the magnitude of what he said, knowing that the whole world is now talking about the activities of IPOB because autopilot is using the name of IPOB to commit crime, to recruit criminals. Let me see if I will also show you the last video before I say what I have to say so that you will know that when we talk, we are not talking propaganda we are talking it the way it is i want to show you reverend father mbaka that mazen nam the led struggle is not recruiting people or aburu or giving them uniform to come and say they are this they are that 
The people that Amazon Nam the Kano put together are the ESN that protected that walls that you are, you know, appreciating today. They are the people who did that great job that you are appreciating today and not this set of people who I am going to show you now that Simon is putting together and he is the one who actually presented this to the media space. No one else that presented it to the media space. It is him. And the reason why he presented it to the media space is to keep collecting money from our people. He claimed he created ESN from ESN. That is the one they call M branch, the M branch that no one, you know, not everybody know that they exist. These are secret, you know, secret agents of IPOB. Secret agents of IPOB. He claimed he created M branch. May after creating, telling people that he created M branch, now he start tell, telling us that uh, um, somebody in in River State they did not uh, go to school. That if they doubt it, he tell us that Father Naga have a son. You know. All these things, see, I want you to know your position of what you said yesterday. I want you to know your position in this thing that he talked about on Aga. So that you will stop coming out here to say, Simon, eh, but this Simon, eh, you have to actually come and denounce what you said about this Simon eh, that he pushed you. Then the whole people will now know that this at home must be enforced because you have auditorium. No, sit at home should not be enforced. Farambaka, sit at home should be voluntarily. Since Mazen Namdekano, the leader of this movement, you know, gave this order, it should be as the way he did it. So that people who are in solidarity with him, we do that voluntarily because he asked them, you know, not to be. He will do that voluntarily. Now, Kinsley Comfort, go and tell mommy and daddy, you know, that they are criminal and they should cry you a river because you don't know anything. And I believe since you don't know anything, it means that they did not teach you well. It is the fault of mommy and daddy. So that's why I am sending you to mommy and daddy to tell them that they are criminal so that they will know how to start, you know, teaching you further. Thank you very much. I am sending you to the garbage where you belong. Bye-bye. And thank you for coming. Now, I am still trying to bring in this video that I want to show you, Father Mbaka. We are actually finding it very difficult. While we are taking this call, I will be trying to get that video, source that video. We are having a call. The caller on the line, are you calling for the program? Yes, are you calling for the program? Are you calling for the program? Should I put you on speaker? Yes, are you calling for the program? Should I put you on speaker? Okay, the caller on the line, your name and where you're calling from, please. The whole world is listening. I pay your good bad boy. Yeah, I called because of the the criminal that, that came there to distract you. Because we are following the the analysis that you are giving. But someone just came in there to distract you. And you left what you are doing to respond to them. Oh, no, we will keep addressing them because uh, some people, when they are not following up, they go to the comment section to follow up. One thing they write there can, this, you know, can destroy a soul that we want to win for Chukwu Kikabia. So that's why we must yeah. be engaging the yeah. comment section. I understand, I understand. 
Yes. So I'm following the program, but the, the person just made you to, to digress from, from your analysis. That's why I called it. Okay. Thank you for that uh, um, advice. Thank you very much. I will see how to address them next time. Thank it's you. Okay. All right. All right. So he, he, he called because of the Umu Ekwensu in the comment section. Umu Ekwensu in the comment section. Now, let me bring to you the criminal element being hashed in Biafra land by Simon Eba, which he presented to say these are the people working with Mazen Nam the Kano, that the gullible ones will believe him and continue to give him money because it is all about giving money. I don't know if they are giving him tight or they are giving him offering. So I think, uh, Father Mbaka, you will be able to you know, ask yourself this and you will be able to digest it the same way you say he told you don't go there for the seat at home enforcement and you decided you thought it through. I want you also to think it through. When I present these people to you, then you will tell yourself, is this really, you know, Simon that is talking to you? And if you don't retract your step, I will believe that there is a leverage, you know, that what you said yesterday or day before is a leverage to what Simon did for you. And in this struggle, we are not being used. We are not a weapon of anybody. But let us continue. Let I want you to pay attention to this video. These are the same people that Simon created and has them in one hall. And he oh, come to tell you, did you hear that? They are M grand. Yeah, mm -hmm. is here. That thing, that thing commander of Eastern region of the Aplastics. I want you to know, I want you to understand that these people that Simon, you know, and Nelly, Madame Idu, and Bridget, and Rita Eze, all of them put together, hashing criminals, some of them are dead. You see, some of these people that you see covering, they have, they are, they have passed away. Some of them, courtesy of Simon and the Nelly of Abu. This is the the people, the criminals that Simon is creating, telling you that they are under Mazen Namdekan. Whatever they are doing, they present Mazen Namdekan with them. I hope you know the reason why, you know, any group that want to fight for Biafra, we don't have a problem. Do it in your own accord so that if you have a, any, if you make any mistake, you will be accountable for it. That is where we are. I know Nezia Salasa. This is not envy. This is not anything because Simon is nobody to me for me to be envious of him. He is nobody 
<laughs> to me, for me to be envious of him. And that is the way it is. He is nobody. So, if you want to be a freedom fighter in, for Biafra, if you don't want to be under command and control of Mazen Namdekano, you go and create your own. If you are doing it well, we can promote you. We can, you, know, you see a lot of people telling you on non-government today. People on the media, they will tell you, send to non-government, send to this, send to that. They tell you those things. Do you know why? It is not because they know them. It is not be because they believe that these people who are killing Biafrans, they have some people who are out there fighting them. And because they never use the name of IPOB or say that they are working for this Mazen Nam the Kano or working for IPOB, they have never crossed our path. That is the reason why we still leave these people who is calling them sent on non-government to keep, you know, it is their it is their right, it is what they want to do. We condemn the activities of a non government killing innocent people in Biafra land. But the reason why we don't, you know, we don't come out every day to say a non government or non government. A non government, if they do something, then the dead bury the dead because they are, they are they, them. Military army, army of conquest are also in Biafra land killing people. So if these people are doing us a favor, fighting this army of conquest, killing our people, there is no way we will, you know, start uh, preaching against these people. We cannot. We don't know them. They don't know us. They are doing their, their you know, what they believe that they have to do for their land. So that is how it is. We cannot come out to say Masop. If Masop use the name of IPOB to commit crime, we, we, dis we discharge them. But the way they are doing their own, they should continue. So their commander, which is Wazurike, that is the reason why whenever he comes out to lay attack on IPOB, we focus it on him direct. We don't call Masop because they have never come to look for our trouble. It is their commander. We are direct in our activities. We are not jealous of any man. We are not jealous of anybody. And when you look at me <laughs> and you tell me I'm jealous of Simon, <laughs> you are a joke. You are a joke. People like me can change the life of Simon to stop stealing from the, you know, from the, you know, poor people. I can change his life. I can give him a knowledge that will change his life. That he will stop stealing from poor people. So it is not when you talk about jealousy, you should, you know, you should watch what you, who, you should look face before you ask, you say somebody is jealous of somebody. On what ground? It doesn't, you know, be, most of you believe it is all about media number. It is not about media number. It is about the message. It is about the message. I don't care about media number. I don't care about media number. That is the reason why when we finish here, this video will be played somewhere else, other places. Because it's not about the media number. It is about the message. So let us continue for you to continue to see the people they are hashing in the Afro land. After hashing them <laughs> Marvin Nam the Kano's photo. In order to make the, the, the people, our enemy, to believe that yeah, these are all under the leadership of Mazen Namdekan. And that is what we are against. That is what we are against. They say the M branch of the Eastern Security. There is nothing that is in M branch and Eastern Security does not have anything in common. M branch that we know Mazen Namdekan put in place does not have anything in common. With Eastern security. But look at are you paying attention? This is Simon and Nelly Dowin, Rita Eze, the faceless woman, the real deal.
now. That is it. So, um, Reverend Father Mbaka, when you want to engage or we want to make a media statement with regards to activities of what is going on within this struggle, but what concerns Mazen Namdekano, henceforth, I advise you a friendly advice for you to make sure that you think about the utterances you want to make in a public domain because it has a lot of, you know, it matters because you are in charge of auditorium, charge of mass number of people at the same time at the same place. So what information you feed them can destroy them. The information you feed to them can destroy us all. Because you are a man of relevance. You have relevance. And you control crowd. Control them, you know, accordingly. And I will advise you to go back and tell the same way you say Simon told you. You should tell them to stop enforcing it at home. Simon is not a leader of IPOB. Simon is not a leader, he's not a member of IPOB. He's not working with Mazen Namdekanu. He just saw what Mazen Namdekanu is doing and he started, you know, supporting like preaching, exposing Nigeria, which anybody can do, including you. You have done it as well. The atrocities of Nigeria, which DSS summoned you. At least you were on the ground, you did it. Why, the, why is Simon not coming on the ground since he has the capacity and he controlled ESN? Why is he not coming on the ground and doing it the way you guys are doing it? So I want you to tell the same way you said that simon told you let me bring it again so that i will put you through to you the way you put it I went to him and meditated on that. The same way you went home and meditated on the Photoshop, you know, wanna be relevant. The same way you went home and give it a thought. I want you to go home and give a thought to this message. I am sending to you, Reverend Fadambaka. Go home and give it a thought. It will help us all. And you come back. The same way you destroy, you, you did a lot of damages with which is your utterances. You retract the step in the public, telling them that, you know, sit at home must not be enforced because enforcement of sit at home there is casualties and these are human beings dying these are our people the people that we are fighting to protect the people that we are fighting to give freedom we do not go back to start killing them if you believe that you promote the truth if you believe that your prayers for Mazen Namdekanu release is not hypocrisy. You know, you should go back and rethink and bring back to the public exactly, you know, opposite of what you just said in this, your video. And if you look at this video, you will see the full video here. It is not only Simon, but here. On your left-hand side, 
you will see Simon eh, with his Photoshop. You know, on the other side, top, right hand side, top. You are in the left hand side, you will see the arrows, you know, targeting or concentrating on the Photoshop that Simon eh, did. On the other right hand side, you will see. Reverend Fanambaka on top. On down there, on from Fanambaka, you will see Bishop Onaga. You will see Bishop Onaga. And there is a special reason why I presented the three of them here. Because <laughs> let it not be that what Mbaka said is a leverage to the information but let us i am going to leave in backers issue here if you want to call in you can call in you know if you want to call in you can call in if you have contribution you are welcome to bring in your contributions if you have any message to reverend father mbaka you can bring it in at the end of the day this message is going to him. I know it is going to him. If you have any message for him, bring it on. I know a channel, this message is going to him. But I want all of you, Umu Ekwensu, in that comment section. Like McDonald. McDonald. I don't know what you say. You are very stupid by saying but I want you to go and tell mommy and daddy that they are stupid. I, I we should go and tell mommy and daddy they are stupid. Very soon, the, the airtime or the data that Lai Mohammed bought for you, it will finish. Then you will stop coming to the comment section. Let me see who is this idiot sending this red head. Okay. Your name is Mba Ebu Emeka. Mba Ebu Emeka. If you see Mba Ebu Emeka, he is wearing a black hat, looking like a mugu. In that comment section, place a red head on him. Mba Ebu Emeka. If you see him in that comment section, place a red, red, a red head on him. Mba Ebu Emeka. He is wearing a black heart you know looking like a mugu place a red head on him so that we will be able to do the needful on him now i will bring the number to roll on the screen in case if you want to give us a call you can give us a call Using that number, you can give us a call using that number. Emma Zichisom, you are here. Let me send you the link. Let me send you the link to join because I know that you will have a lot to say to this man. I have sent you the link to join because we ended this program in two hours. Now, what we are going to do here is that there are other men of God. Okay, no. God forgive me. These are not men of God. These are not men of God. These are God of men. So now there are other God of men that we want to talk about. But this message that we have sent to Farambaka, I want to, if you are calling with regards to, you know, this message, if you want to send any message to Farambaka, call in now because I am going to remove this, you know, path of Farambaka so that when he listened to it or if he is listening now he will get the message from you so that if you are calling you call now before we remove this message and bring in a new message so 
Now let us uh, let us let me also send the link. Okay, um, I think you got the link, uh, Maze Chisum, and Blessed Jonathan. You are here. Please, yes. If you have a message to Farambaka, please bring it on and give it to him because we are going to end this message. Once we see that people have contributed to the message we are sending to Safarambaka, once you are done contributing, we are going to end it and begin a new program for you guys. So that you will be able to listen to it. Uh, Mazi Chisom, you are welcome. Blessed Jonathan, Mazi, you are welcome. Okay, good, good afternoon, uh, Mazi, uh, George Money. Good afternoon, Mazi Chisom. And also good afternoon to all our listeners. Uh, coming direct from New York, Mazi Ude. Thank you very much. Sure, welcome. Uh, Mazi Chisom, please come in. We have to try. I hope my voice is coming out clear. Frozen. Okay, he's back. I hope my voice is coming out clear. Your voice is loud and clear. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and good night. My name is Amazi Chisong, educate me. George Money, God bless you for keeping, bless for keeping the Biafran woman morning and afternoon and evening your message is going far those that are castigating your message they don't know what they are doing you are giving the raw message you know truth is bitter when you speak the truth the gullible ones will not know and their comment can never stop you their comments energize you to do more that is the only thing they don't understand their comment energize you to do more. No, they here don't here. know that. They don't know that. And we are here. When Moses' hands is getting weak, the Israelites raise his hand up. He did what? They energize him. He start moving. So we are here to energize you. And the nature himself, the vacuum, the nature himself has given you the strength to go ahead. May God bless you. Says, I stay standby till you call me up right. again. There we go. Mazi, see you to come in. Yes, Mazi. Uh, good morning. I salute you. See you too. Mazi. Mazi, I salute you. Mazi, you there. I salute you. Yeah, Mazi, my brother. Okay. Yes, yes Mazi, you too. Mazi, you forgive me. Good evening, sir. No yes. problem, my brother. No. Hey. We are here to monitor all the things that is going on and to direct our people in the right track. And um, what I, one thing I want to say here now is this. People can now understand that what Samaraba is doing now, that criminal, is going to... Remember, he was uh, asking, he was uh, trying to let our people to started uh, putting this as propaganda, Friday sit at home, Sunday sit at home. Mazi George Money, you can see where they are going now. Very yes. soon, don't be surprised. Mbaka will come and say, I have to go to China because it's Sunday and where is the issue? <laughs> don't be surprised. They're to this date down. <laughs> you know, some uh, Maswell, that uh, one criminal called Maswell, one person, I don't know where that idiot is, where he is. That bingo, I, 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 you know, I, I, I packaged him well. Yes. You know, that is why I said, I told you, each and our God, how can I come out here? You don't know the work you are doing, you know. I know exactly what I'm saying. Because when I know, when I, I see you, I know that uh, these people, <laughs> The voice you are bringing out is the voice that are going to destroy these criminals. I'm telling you. You know, uh, Mbaka, I don't think in my national, in the Bible, you know, Otoa Mahono Fonya Behaya. You know, the same way Otoa Mahono Fonya Behaya, Mbaka did not know that uh, if any of his uh, member is being killed by this criminal, someone by his hashing. So he did not know everybody that come to his church. Maybe an old woman there now will go out and buy a crawfish. They will beat her and take her bicycle. And she'll be seeking that and die. So if he's one of the member, he did not know. 
in the same uh this mbaka in one of his video he condemns it at home he he condemns it at home if our people can remember no my idea this is that, that he condemned it but do i have to blame him they put you know what someone up is doing now is going around putting call to uh, to mbaka threatening him but mbaka will not mbaka will not come out and tell you exactly what he told them Mm. You know, look at him back up, telling him that someone up as yeah, yeah, you know, no game. I did a okay of any state mess up because I'm whatever I got. Uh, yeah, quite a naga copy and I got that. Can you see that the back cannot even stand in his word? But let it not be as if we are castigating him. I want this video that what you did now to send to him, and I want the video. Our people to send to Mbaka, he should understand that we are not castigating him, but he should go and think of what he said. Um, let them send him the video where they call our, our the man he's calling for his release, the way they humiliate his wife, the name they call his wife, and what Nelly said about Biafra. They should find that video and send it to Mbaka. He's good in listening. He listened. He listened to social media. They should send him all those videos and let him go through those videos and see that these are the same people that work with Sister Meleba. And then he will, the Holy Spirit, I think the Holy Spirit will direct him. Because if Mbaka is championing this freedom and somebody call his wife a criminal and a prostitute, I don't think he will be happy. The same way Mazen Namrikano will not be happy when he comes out and hear, uh, hear all these things. He won't be happy. So, what we are saying here is, he's going now putting calls to pastors, the people he can he can uh, he can threaten. You see why I told you that this guy, he know exactly what he's doing, but he de his days are number. Believe you me, his days are number. He wants to be firm. He wants to be firm. He will receive that firm. Mazi, uh, if they're going to be like as I told you some time ago. That this guy will start blackmailing people. You remember what I said? As I told you, just everybody should watch and watch and see the blackmailing they will be. He will be dishing out. The the bishop he said that he have a children. He have this. Can we can we ask that Ebrima? What did you have with this man? What did this man do to you? It's absolutely nothing. It's all about blackmail. You see these people. All these bishop is in our land. Who are going to come? Who is going to bring the highest money? That is why you see, whenever things wants to happen, these politicians wants to steal. They first of all go no because they know that this bishop and this priest and this pastor pastors has the largest members. So whatever they tell them, that is what they are going to hear. So they, they have come into. He knew now that he's going down. So the next thing he's doing is to go and threaten Mbaka. So that Mbaka will mention his name. This is what he wants. Mbaka has mentioned his name. So therefore, what else again is he going to do? I don't know. Now maybe he, no, he can the most threaten. important thing here. The most important thing here is that since we are putting this message through to Mbaka, that's why I want to make it short. Since we are putting this message through to Mbaka, we're also requesting Mbaka to come and the you know. You know, say again something opposite from what yeah. he said. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because he promoted uh, um, something that is very, very evil. Yeah, uh, as Mazi C2 and Mazi judge, Mazi C2 and Mazi judge money uh, before this thing and the Mazi uh, Chisum. Before I forget what I want to say is that about this, our brother um, Baka, I am from Enugu State. Nelly, the crazy woman, is from Enugu State. So he knows Mbaka very well. And that is how Simon Ekwa, they are from the same side. Mbaka is from Ogo. That is how this Mbaka, uh, you know, Simon could able to call Mbaka and Mbaka is going to, you know, pick the call. Maybe there may be in a three-way call. So let me put it this way. And uh, what I want to say, because I'm not saying like I'm not going to, I'm going to say because the Bible said that, woe, woe unto that man. Why I'm using woe unto Mbaka is that this 
group of people, Simon and Nelly of Fable, is people castigating your bishop, irrespective of how, if you are you are not close with the bishop, but that bishop or naga still remain your bishop. Bishop, but you still pay, is still your boss. So somebody who is talking bad about your bishop, bringing whether the man has children or don't have children, I don't know because I know it may be a, a blackmailing or it may be true or whatever. Such man who is blackmailing the bishop that you pay lawyer to call you on the phone. You even have time to talk with such person. You're not going to tell me that you don't, for, uh, Reverend Mbaka, you're not going to tell me, me and you, we are from the same state. You're not going to tell me that you did not hear that Simon in Kirima, the prodigal son in the Finland, is causing Bishop Onaga, uh, you know, accusing him, blackmailing him up and down. And you can be able to mention that prodigal son in your altar. But Mbaka, I am so ashamed of you. Because that is how you brought a, a, um, a Buhari to us. You told us good luck is a bad luck. After you and Buhari start getting issue, you switch to Buhari is a, is a, is a idiot. You start fighting against Buhari. So you must be sure and focus on the Christendom and preach how people could go to heaven. You are not a member of IPOB. You don't need to gamble into the affair of IPOB. So for you to go ahead because of Simon Eperima, this prodigal son, called you on the phone, and you are saying that not so quite well, yeah, so long, yeah. Since you are following Mazen and the Kano, or you are listening to Mazen and the Kano, is Simon Ekpa the second in command of IPOB or what they are doing? And I want to tell everybody this sit at home why they are forcing this at home because Nigerian government want to use it to destroy the Biafra land. And because of this experiment, is agent of a, a, a Nigerian um, or government. That is why he's forcing the sit at home because if the sit at home was touching Nigerian government, then would have given Mazen and the Kano a like one hour to speak to Biafrans. But because of the know that that sit at, at home is affecting us, just like you have shot gun on your, by you have shot your own father or you have shot your own self. You want to shoot your enemy, but you shot yourself. That is what that sit at home they are doing. Is scramble all the economy. And they understand that the economy of that country owned by the whole Igbos, the stock market is affecting our own people, not the federal government. But they are pushing it because of this experiment is their agent. They want to use him to destroy. And it looks like he knows what he's doing after they will settle him. That is why he came up and saying that, that the DOS sue him as a, um, as a terrorist, which is a lie. Because you want to use that to get a famous. You want to use that to, to be like it was IPOB that was fighting against him like a terrorist. But it's, it's this group, non-group that don't even have address, that wrote a letter to the Finland. So, Father Mbaka, I am telling you right now, the same amount you use so that you're not going to, because when the, the protest was going in Biafra land, Father Mbaka was against Mazen and the Kano. Let me tell you that. He was 100% against Mazen and the can if he can go to his old record. No, you are right. Mazen, you are was, right. You are right. He was asking Mazen and the can you are sending people to go and die on the street. Why don't you come and be the first person to lead that protest? That was his destiny. So I am not surprised that Reverend Baka is calling a name of Simon Ekpa that is keep talking about your, your bishop. Even if that shows that you guys are not worshipping God there. Because if you are worshipping God, irrespective of how your bishop is treating you as strong as you are still under your bishop, somebody who is talking bad in a public against your bishop, and you are still want to say, oh, I'll say you will sit at home. So, I am so ashamed of Father Mbaka. I am telling you, let me stop for our other comment. Uh, to come Ma Ma you uh, Ma before you come in, we have a caller. Uh, Mazi, you too, please, before you come in, we have a caller. A uh, caller, you're going to use only one hour, um, sorry, one, one and a half minutes. Please, one and a half minutes to, give, to do justice to our topic. Please go ahead. Okay, 
Uh, first of all, my name is Eugene Edu. I'm calling from my location. Go ahead. And I greet teacher and every one of you. I greet you all. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, um, mm, uh, our brother blessed Jonathan. Uh, he just spoke my mind already. Before I called you, I mean, before I saw him speaking on the program, mm. uh, exactly everything he said was what I wanted to say because this um, Mbaka is a Mbaka, Father Mbaka is a man I respect so, so very much. Though he disappoints me many times, even of recently he did, but uh, no one is above mistake. Let me just put it that way. Um, but uh, somebody who who is very very sensible enough will understand that maybe maybe Mbaka and Bishop Onaga maybe they are having problem mm -hmm. secretly. Let me just say maybe they are having secret problem. And now Mbaka saw that someone like Simon is siding him and then busy castigating Bishop Onaga. So now let him you let him use this opportunity to bring Simon more closer to him himself. I cannot say that uh, he's talking with uh, Simon on phone. I cannot say that, and I cannot say that uh, Baka is working against uh, uh, the, the belief of the Afrans and Muslim. They can I cannot say that now, but I will say that he's just trying to maybe he's trying to pay back the, the favor. The favor this uh, Simon did for him, maybe he's trying to return the favor back to Simon, and then and make uh, 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 by making his, his name more relevant, by making him more more. That that is ah. Their friends are wise. My brother is trying to discredit. Is trying to bring DOS uh, as nothing. Like DOS are not capable. That is exactly what he's doing. That is why he contacted Mbaka. I am telling you. Exactly, they are trying to make. They are trying to water down the DOS, which is the the the, the highest office of IPOB led by Mazen Namdekano. And if anything happens to DOS, trust me, Mazen Namdekano is finished. Yes. That DOS, that DOS is the is, that is the everything. It's after the, it's even after the DOS before you can get to the ESP. Yes. Because they started they started from the from there. To the commander and control before the launch of ESM that was just done a few days, a few, few, not all the time. Oh, yeah, go one year ago. Okay, so all these things without that chain of command, without that chain, and another thing is any successful organization, there must be command and control. Without command and control, there was there was scatter. Thank you very much, my brother. No, thank you very much. So Your that, time has elapsed, uh, that's it, that's but you nailed it. Thank okay. you very much okay. for calling. We are having a lot of calls. Um, uh, okay, bye bye. We are having a lot of calls. I don't know if we should go for calls now. And uh, okay, let Mars, me... you go for calls. Mars, you go for calls. Let's hear what our people, uh, our people need to say. It's very important for us. Don't worry about us. Go for calls. Call on the line. Your name and where you calling from, please. My name is Everett. I'm calling from. Uh, be audible. Be audible. I, we cannot hear you. Okay. Can you guys hear him? Because I cannot hear him properly. I, I say my name is Everett. I'm calling from Calabar. Oh, you're calling from Calabar? Mm. Yeah. Okay, please go ahead. The whole world is paying attention. Okay. You know, Kira is in contact. Kira is in that can make that comment. You know, people people are going to try to get in that. But if you listen to what in that I say, eh? Do you understand? In that is trying to say that someone is threatening him because if you listen to it here, you say what I was saying. That he, he was support, he was support, or not supporting Sikatu until the day someone called him. I don't know if you know that part. Asking him to withdraw. I don't know if you know if you know that you understand something from that. Yes, yes, yes. No, me, I'm seeing it as if you know just if you think when 
you know, give all that to the rest of them. They are not going to call anybody. The caller, wait. The caller, wait. You are making a very, very important uh, um, uh, this thing, presentation here. Please, I want you to remove your listening device from next to your phone call. I'm not, I'm not using anything. I'm not using anything. Is your, is your Facebook on? Please switch off your Facebook. Some people should mute. Is anybody, everybody should mute. Oh, it's not from this. It's not no, from it's this not from phone. this side. He's having a. He's using earphone. Something. He's using earphone. Maybe using it's earphone, sorry. my brother. He just echo. He just echo. He's okay, having okay, a. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. I know that our Boki, I know that our Boki that is always bringing propaganda. I know that Boki. Maybe it's the house of his enemy. He's, it is the house of his enemy. You remember in the village, your mother will tell you, this is how your enemy, don't go there. This is the house your enemy is building. So it could be the house of his enemy. You are not far from the truth. Round up, round up. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You have a very bad line there. Well, next time when you call in, check your mic. You know, it is very, very bad. We're struggling to hear you, but you made a very, very, you know, a very, very wise, you know, comment there. You made a very, very wise comment. Our caller said that, you know, that Aboki who is going pointing house is saying that it's Tina Samoru's house. Tomorrow, the military will go and burn it, you know. They will go and burn the house and they will say it is ESN because all their plans is to uh, prescribe by POB so that they will stand in their autopilot and you do. And uh, I believe that is what our caller said. And um, please, um, Mazi um, Chisum, please come in. Okay, before you come in, Ebube, I haven't seen you in this program before. We're still having a call. We're still having a call. Um, Ebu Bear, I don't know whom you are, but let's take this call quickly. The caller on the line, your name and where you're calling from, you have one and a half minutes, please. Make sure you utilize it. We don't have time. Yes. Mazio Koye, go ahead.
God for him to expose him more because this guy is doing the whole of damage in, in, in this, this struggle. I mean, this uh, guy in the field, I don't want to call his name. So what I'm saying is this. Please, if you want, you can call his name. You can call his name. We make you famous in a very, very uh, bad way. You can call his name. Uh, it doesn't matter. Or you call him prodigal son. That is his name. I want to ask Papa Jack Let him ask that in my Finland. Let him ask him. Go three questions. Number one, what was the very much it was short sharp, sharp and straight and thank you very much you made a very very important comment he said that um, Mbaka should go and uh, ask Simon why is he supporting all this woman that are making you know talking rubbish against Mazen Namdekano's wife and he should ask him, um, uh, Simon again why are you calling the, the structure that Mazen Namdekano put in place criminal and why are you you know, using Cle the name of claiming, you, claiming, when claiming you do not possess the copyright. Why are you using the name of ESN? You do not possess the copyright if it is Facebook. You do not possess the copyright, but you are using their name to do some criminal activities. Not even and, a and the fund and fundraising. Fundraising prejudice. So now I hope Reverend Farambaka is listening because. You know, we are going to give Fadam Baka time to retract his step. Otherwise, we are going to come back and we are going to bring it to the open. Because the same thing uh, about Onaga, <laughs> you know, can also be done to another person. Because, uh, you know, but uh, let us just leave it there. Let's leave sentiment behind. Uh, by the time we wait for um, Reverend Father Mbaka, our friend, until otherwise, our own, until otherwise, you know, to retract his step, you know, having known, you know, what is going on in the social media, then we, we, are, go we are going to respond uh, to him. Uh, uh, yeah. judge, judge Money, a uh, very quick one, but the only uh, thing I love what Father Mbaka said is that he told everybody the truth that this is my prodigal son called him. He didn't say God told him like the one dancing naked in the market. He said this idiot called him and said, well, you sit at home, Solomon. So you never know if he, told, if he told him that if he don't do that, I'm going to come and burn your church with my criminals. So Farambaka already told us who is this sacred my fail and he keep calling people on the phone, threatening people because they work with the Nigerian government and Nigeria DSS. Mazi uh, Chisom, I think he wanted you to say something. Okay, okay. Uh, Mazi, okay. uh, yeah. uh, I want to say something here uh, that uh, everybody needs to understand something. You know, we, we go with information and then we pass it to the, to the right channels. There are some things we don't say and there are things we say. People that knows me knows, and where we pass our information, we pass it very, very well. I want, I want everybody to understand something, and I want the people that is listening to pass this message to Mbaka. There's something I need to say here for our people to understand. Mbaka said that ESN have done a good job. In his own word, that people come to him and say they can, if not because of ESN, they cannot even... He said that there are people can go to farm now and come back. That people came to him and said that if not because of ESN, 
they would they wouldn't have farmed this season. There are people can go now and farm and come back. But Mbaka, Mazin Mbaka, do you know that that ESN that Mazin Namdekano put in place to curtail Fulanese from killing our people in the bush? Do you know that someone has sent some criminals to go and kill them? I want Mbaka, people to send this place to Mbaka. Do you know? Wow. Do you know that? No. Did you? Uh, okay, but I'm saying it now that um, uh, Nelly Ofebu and Salman Epa sent some criminals to go and engage uh, ESM. Now, I am making it clear here for you people to understand. You know, it's not everything DOS will come and tell you people. And why do you think uh, Nelly is calling in Jenje? Uh, Oba. Um, where is the other one? All those oh, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Lion, lion. So, we had, why do you think he's calling all those people? And it is calling, uh, where is Injenja? Where is Oba? Where is Lion, lion? All those people that he's calling. Do you know where they are? No. Okay. All right. I will leave it here. One day, DOS, we, 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 we tell you people very, very well. That is why I want Mazimbaka to know that Salman Epa sent some criminals to go and engage the same people Mazin Namdekanu put in place to checkmate those people that come to him now and say that they are go they are farming now, they can go to farm and come back home peacefully. Salman Epa went and deceived some of our people that are guiding our bushes just because of his selfish interest. He wants to antagonize DOS and then those people find their waterloo. And Mazimbaka, if ESN should be destroyed by Simon Eba, do you think that those people that come to you now say they can enjoy their farm? Do you think they will they will still go back to the farm? Do you think so? No. Okay. No. This is why I want this place to be sent to Mbaka that Simon Eba sends some criminals to go and engage the people that is checkmating our forest. I am not making anything up. DOS are listening. Mazi so, too. Mazi yes. too. can I ask you one thing? Do you think it's better for DOS to write a letter to Fadambaka to <laughs> know the line where he's supposed to stop? Or do you think it's not necessary? No, DOS will not. If the, DOS will never try to go and send a letter to Mbaka. No. Mbaka is on social media. He knows what is happening. DOS will not have that. DOS have, has no time for that. What DOS is focusing now is to monitor the activities of these criminals in our land and the activities of the criminals that some never have put in place the reason why i am telling our people now the reason why you see that he went to threaten mbaka some of his men has been apprehended and some of them i'm telling you the okay. truth and okay. if he say if someone ever say he's lying that he is not he did not send people to go and engage ESN. One more Zinam the Kano comes out, you people will hear it again very, very well. Okay. And ask okay. someone about where and Lele, where is in Jenje? Where is all those lion lion? And where is those people they are calling? And where is that guy that was driving Jeep? Baby. Those Baby. Jeep. Yes, where is those guys? These are the money that are meant for ESM to checkmate our land. They stole the money and start calling DOS name. That DOS stole the money. They did not pay. They are not looking after ESM. Someone ever was branding DOS social uh, in social media every day. They are criminals. They are criminals. They are not taking care of ESM. Why do you think he's saying all those things? He's sending those narratives to our people because they know that our people love ESM. Because they know that this is the only... Man, I'm trying to make it clear that ESM is all we have. He made it clear. And and why do you think they would hold those money? They want exactly, they want our people that is checkmating our bush to hate DOS. And they manage to deceive some people. And those people, they deceive. Has it me too? Yes. Um, we have somebody called a bube here. I want to know if he's a human being or uh, a robot. Because he didn't say <laughs> yes. anything here. Mas, let's hear from him. That is what I'm waiting Ebube, please uh, unmute yourself if you are here. Um, let's hear from you, please, okay? Ebube, are you here? Hello? Am I coming out clear? 
loud yes. and clear. And I need to Yeah. Fuma, fuma. Please go ahead. Nambido, Oyi Babu has sign. George Morning, Eke Nerunga Fuma, Nanuko Maricholo, and Arodon Dibani, or Katasi Wunoga. Thank you. Kisi we we put on we we put the time on. Now they follow your program. Ogo for the five hours, six hours, four hours. Oh. Some of my lab yafra. This is my lab yafra, bro. So even when you wanna make us your camera, and um, um for a caption, oh boom bo broadcast data, and then if we move na neku na platform wa. Say no, I am Abaqua no Beru, Mobon and Tino Numnia. Moa Ibido Kube Makia. Ma say, Nazi John one nine woke Juro, Ibazoa, Ojuro, Mazi C two. Ma or support Roka leadership, Dejere Mbaka Oko, where we are a boy across. Ma say, I'm like a work, a male drifted it well. Because Nankebezi Kubuna Mbaka. Abu Hobere Mado, only population, only crowd. Oye mwe voices ya or nti ege ante maburu no kuku. Then banyere ife okuru na Good Friday. Obro na aina nya nuche nke mu na ngota nke mu. Mma se na di psychological reverse on a use mbo ekberima. Nukuto nyoshi. Mma se ni issue of that ekberima. Ese gero moku na unity. Even na platform man, a we put them two times na platform man, and Mr. Cornet to change serious warning that I should stop posting anything connecting Simon. If any bank get agwa no ho has here, na mu barunke te to respect command and control. Mama, who possess one na wali da putar, I will question them. Itu akan si doye. So mu wa fatarifa on a because of share na that thing na program ya ukozi share other things. Mbaka kuru makawa lida. So nse ba hok borafi ya kuwipite. Andu fye mwa afuri fa hume lewu nwa threat kwa threat mbaka. Andu kuriye nwa se nwa ya atyari ya kaba ana gota. Mwobro nwa buko ugwa na kwenye. Nyangwa kwa na mwa ya wediye sora. So mwa yo ndini nene e ganyi ti namweda. Nandini nene follow this broadcast. Ye mwa kwa nwa nye assistance keta. Ye mwa kwa nwa nye jime mbaka tak. Mwa afu benya kwa nwa ni kwe against us. Come on, if you want to talk about it, grab the statement you may post to as if you are hijacking with it during your sins over. So, on your weekend, say, come make a matter, a very much or use who could have shine or my not dimpa na leadership send it later support Raja to him. Yam Mara red line and Yam Marie Fed on board now. This Useless idiot, never for his life. Chee 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 makabiafra. Because who gone on a Finland? Who gone on a Finland? We're in a more honey zendi atro nandio shi nandiama. Who gone in your dance? Who only be a cool makai piu bife na miti no honey ze. Oh my honey, I fight biafra. So okay, ta kona biya is an ago. So ma si umunem jisi nike na ke umneme ma eto se de ye mo nonye akame one na imo mbaka attack keta. So I see them name me attack. Man, I'm not watching them now. In the other another platform, he got into or he major FIFA. Man, as well, I'm supporter. The leadership, the Jerry Aoko. They can name him. No, we are not attacking him, but we are actually, you know, this is, a, you know, a friendly advice. Like I said on the always day, I stand in my word. He is one of our own. On the let, me, let me. Ma, 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 this is too. Uh, Mazi, Mazi, well, let me say something one, uh, one 30 seconds. Do you know why he's going to that way now? I'm telling uh, my people the reason why he's going to that threat to uh, this uh, Mbaka, he will go more. Watch and see. You know why? Because his men on the ground that he was using to kill our people, believe you me, he know, he know quite very well. You know. <laughs> he, he knew. So the only way he has no again, he knew. Yasin Yam Yasin and Mok had a boom. Yeah, the crew to go people again. Ask them, where are those people nailing our you should where are they? Where are they? He knew 
that Mazi, all of you, Kalema no Mazi, Tina Sangoru, anywhere you, if any before you go to bed, pray for him. Because he is he is responsible to checkmate our land as 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 long as, as long as Biafra land is concerned now, he doesn't want to use eyes to see these criminals concerning these Ebrima people. He will go any length to make sure that he apprehend them. Except, except that one Apata by Apata. Ask Ebrima and Nelly, where is Njenje and Oba that Nelly was crying? Where he, where he used to come out and where uh, say where are they? You are play, you think you can play with IPOB in this struggle? Marzi, I stand by. Um, let me what I want to say here is the same kindly advice to Reverend Mbaka. I want to let Mbaka to know that this is a movement. We have structure. Nande Kalo is the commander. And then Nande Carlo, I'm speaking to Mbaka. Nande Carlo say whenever he's absent, we should respect DOX. We have a structure. The DOX is not one person, it's like a Senate. They are the elite of the Biafrans, of IPOB. As Mazin Nande Carlo is in DSS custody today, Cheka Edosium is the head of the DOS, is the commander today of IPOB. And as a whole, if Reverend Mbaka didn't know that Simon Eber is not a member of, of IPOB, I'm putting it to him today to know. Simon Eber has nothing to do with IPOB. He's not our member. Maybe you are thinking that Simon Eber is working with IPOB. I have made it clear to you today. Simon Eber is not a member of IPOB. Simon Eber has never ever been in IPOB. So if you are taking him as a member or a spokesperson of IPOB, he is not. A more powerful is the spokesperson of IPOB. So I'm making it clear to, for you now to know. Father Mbaka, you have your brown water they call Afarakwa. If you travel in any part of this world and see Afarakwa, I hope you will sue that people to court or to anywhere for using that name Afarakwa without coming to hell. So that is what we are doing now. And that is what we are warning Simon Eber for a very long time to stay clear from IPOB, to stay clear from ESN, to stay clear from Mazin Nandiyoku Kano. Our leader Mazin Nandiyoku Kano was a member of Masob. When he find out that Masob has left what they're supposed to do, be doing another thing, he left on his own without using any name of Masob to form IPOB. It, it took him time to know what the indigenous, the meaning of that indigenous, that name, the way he brought this name, IPOB. He made many people to surprise. When you start checking the meaning of the IPOB, he now came out and starts IPOB with a rubber chair. With a rubber chair, the way you start your adoration on scratch, that is the way, that is the way, And table and rubber table table rubber table. He started till he groom IPOB. Start nursing IPOB. Groom IPOB. IPOB now go more than hundred and something countries in all over the world. And somebody that are fighting IPOB for years, that sitting on the on the on the on the fence, who just come and jump in and threaten you, Father Mbaka, you have got threatened that is more than this one, and you stand. If you, you have got straight, more than this one, you stand. Even when the DSS come, our leader say we should give you voice. You go nowhere. And since that time, DSS has come three times. And the voice you are getting and the support you are getting is this, D-O-X. If Simon never call you to threaten you, you know how to do it. 
You come out and tell us that Simon Epa is threatening you. We will hold him and give him warning. If anything, if any scratch happened to you, we will roast him alive. That is the only two things we're going to tell him. And every day, threatening and everything will end there. And he will never call you again. You don't supposed to fall for that chick blackmailer that will call you on phone, say they will pair with said gutter. Father Mbaka, you are both 36 years today. How old were Jesus Christ? Before he finished his work on health, he go to rest. How old are you today? You have been you have been in the priesthood for more than 20 years. You have touched the life of humanity. If anything happened to you today as a priest, as God made it, people will not die. People will still, God will still give us another person. You don't suppose to fear a rat, a cockroach, cause a monaper to call you on. I'm very, very disappointed for a man of your caliber to bow on someone ever threat. What you, what, what, what Chimaroke cannot do to you. What Abacha regime, during Abacha regime, you were speaking. You were speaking. Today is not the first time you were speaking. The wife said, Monepa will now tell you what to do. And you have been listening to radio and be hearing in papers, in newspaper, that IPOB cancel Monday seat at home. Only the day our leader will go to court that that seat at home we hold. And everybody agree on it. And federal government and Igbo politicians, our killers, are sponsoring this Monday seat at home to blackmail Mazen and Yukukano, to blackmail the DOS and IPO the entire state world. Don't you know that Simon Epa is working for the politician? Don't you know that Simon Epa is a boy to Ike Kule Maya. Since they have Maya, they sue him to court and tell him to vacate the boy state government house. How many times you heard that they keep people in the boy state again? Don't you see that the killing has reduced? The killing has reduced. The power of a, a terrorist a Bubago has reduced in a boy state. The killing are no more like that again. Can't we know those that is our killers? Mbaka, you are too big for this. With all due respect, sir. With all due respect, father. As my brother, George Money, have told you, go and revise what you speak. Go and do the needful. You have been with my profile for years. You know what to do. I'm not the one to tell you what to do. Last, Simon Epa is not a member of IPOB. He's not working for IPOB. He's against IPOB. He's against the man that is in DSS course study, that he will not take order from the man in the DSS course study. Then how can he be a worker to, 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 to a follower to Thomas Nandiko Kano when a whole DOS, DOX are bowing to Thomas Nandekalo? The whole IPOB worldwide, their friends worldwide are listening to DOS and what Mazen Nandekalo say. Then who is a Belima? Who is a Belima that has been a placant since he came to Finland? Mazichisom. Mazichisom. Go Sorry, ahead. I should do Chenabia. There's something I want to say here. I think uh, what our brother Ebube said, uh, I think I'm beginning to see sen sense on it. Uh, uh, if I'm if I'm wrong, let please. We are here to you know educate our people and you know look into two ways. I begin to see sense on it. Yes, 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 yes. What the yes. US need to do now yes. is to tell uh, is to. Uh, send a letter to Mbaka and let him understand if he's been threatened by unknown actors, which we don't know who they are, by he trying to, which is uh, uh, the follower he has, because whatever Mbaka told them now is what they're going to hear. Mm -hmm. If he's been threatened and 
Ma, uh, Ma can have cancelled it at home. He know the reason why he cancelled it. Because these Fulani people, they want our land to be destroyed. They have said it with their own two mouth that the tape is there. After four years, after four years, that will be irrelevant in our own land. They said it there. So why should we give them that chance? So if Mbaka is being threat, then if our people come out on Monday, if he tried to support sit at home, then if he's been threat and tried to support sit at home, then he has he should take the he himself will take some part of blame if our people is being killed. We are not going to exonerate him. He should take part of the blame. Because I don't see the reason why somebody that is sitting somewhere in Finland will call you because he's been threat, he's been threatened. So I begin to see the sense of what uh, uh, is saying, my brother. I think the message has to send to him. I don't know how do you, I don't speak for them. All we do is to if we get message, we send it to the right channel. They are listening. If they are not listening now, they are going to see these brokers. And pass to Mbaka. If any if anything goes wrong on Monday against our people, because Mazin Nam the Kano see the the handwriting of the Fulanese. The what they want to commit in our land before he said he doesn't want to see sit at home on Monday. So if Mbaka is being threatened and trying to uh, uh, you know let this be like he's somebody, then if our people is being killed, whether by Fulani or anything happens to them, Mbaka has to take responsible. For, he has to be they will hold him responsible for part of it, as 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 simple as ABC. Because what I know now that is hurting Nigerian government. And the Fulani Amiyeti Allah is the band of their cow. Sit at home is not affecting them. I am telling you, we have made our research, it's never affected. They, they go and ask Amiyeti Allah what is affecting them now is the band of their cow. And we don't want to. I am telling you now the truth that this, this band of their cow is killing them. And we have let our people that do that business by on 27. We have DOS have given you, HOD have given you for you to prepare your business. You see, if you, I don't think our people will try it because they know the consequences anyway. You, they know. So, if that bounced off cow, you see, if that bounced off cow is the ultimate punishment for this Fulanis, I am telling you. You might not, you might not, you, because when we announce it, I see their reaction. When, if you go to their, their, their social media, when we are sitting at home, they are mocking us. What they are telling us, after all, Libra are destroying their economy. These are the things they are telling us on social media. This full and easy. But immediately we burn this cow meat that we take, we don't want to see it in our land. Mieti Allah begin to cry. They show, all of them, they begin to, if you go, they begin to cry. Now, check sit at home and the band of this cow and tell me which one is affected, uh, which one is more, which one is more powerful. Masi, thank that you. is the reason why people who does not pay attention to Mazen Namdekano, all they do is that they are looking for where there is gossip. Just like so many of them who work in the comment section. They are looking for where there is gossip. When Mazen Namdekano speak, they don't pay attention. They want to destroy Biafra land instead of the zoo. <laughs> they want to burn Biafra land instead of burning down the zoo. But, uh, you know, of course, we have found Mazen Namdekano. So, of course, there is no need of burning anywhere uh, until when there is need for it. So, but uh, diplomatically, uh, the DOS, the people that are piloting the affairs of this struggle, as it stands now, they are doing a wonderful job. Kudos to them. So there is a comment somebody make here, um, Rainbow from YouTube. Rainbow said, Judge Bonny, sometimes I do not understand Father Mbaka. I used to respect him, but he has changed a lot because, because of money. He now speaks from both sides of his mouth. I am really disappointed with Father Mbaka. Um, let me, there is another comment that I want to also read before we proceed. There is another message, even there is too much message from Umu Ekwensu here, which I am going to, I think, 
Mazi George Money. Uh, Mazi George Money. Yes. Yeah, you man are indeed you know, you know, not a being you lose, no, 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 we body use, or my maybe you see where body use. So that is why we need to cook and you will draw my seat to or the necessary car leadership of IPOB, the gallo on back out for a cook or how cook of threat and man, or just to enlighten him what is going on. Or, or what he had never because Nemo be a week on one hot time as a reverend. Or men went time or two, all of us in one time. He do a load now. My what is going on? The only thing on my bell when I may be in as uh, this experiment, this prodigal son call him and say, I am the last. You know how he's uh, how he makes him out. I am the last man standing. The person calling you is a Mazen and the kind of disciples. The second in command, the Mazen and the Kano. I want to tell you, Jilu, this sit at home on Monday, solemn before your church, we, before we crush everybody in your church. Of course, uh, uh, Father Mbaka, uh, everybody in that Biafara know the capability of IPOB, what they can be able to do. Then, Father Mbaka will not understand that this man that I called him is not even. He's not even inside. I don't even know what is going on. Because I was listening to a, a program of this guy that was supporting Mazen and the Kano, and the letter he started fighting against Mazen and the Kano, the guy from Edo, the guy then called wounded, wounded Lion. I don't know if you know about that guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Say to you, you know him, right? Bleaching so, cream, bleaching cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was asking somebody a question yesterday in his live program. The guy, he said, he mentions uh, this experiment, Simon Epa. The guy, this guy was a very volunteer member before, an IPOB insider. The guy, but the guy is already, uh, he's already sabo, he already diverted from what or, or, uh, uh, IPOB or what the, the uh, volunteer stand for. And this guy said, ask the wounded lion, do you know the boys that is standing for mass and and this is what this guy told him do you know the boys that have swore an oath that they are ready to die for mass and and the whether win or or son he said who is simon Ekpa to command those boys that simon Ekpa cannot even command cockroach that that is i swear to god that is what this guy said they now asked him he said the only man that can command those boys and those boys will listen is china samuru that is what the guy said. The army, the ESN. This guy said the only person that can command. This guy was inside that before. He said, Simon Ekpa to give a command. Who is Simon Ekpa? This is what this guy said. But Simon Ekpa, because he's a criminal and is also fighting to make sure he makes quick money that he has not made since he was living in Europe. Because people don't understand it. All those painting uh, uh, chain, he paint gold and paint everything. Looks like he, his house is worth a million dollars house. Or he, he furnishes his room with all gold. So all those things is to fake you, to deceive uh, you. He only has a job because that is how he does it. All of us Yeah, all of us said. Because I don't see a mature guy have a paint chair, gold, gold. Now, uh, we uh, condemn. Scrub OJ, put it outside. He paint any gold to hang it, and then make a onyeji something cool. It says. So what I'm trying to say is that that guy cannot even command a, 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 a foul. You understand? So what happened is that let the DOS let Father Baka to understand what is going on. That this guy calling you is not even IPOB leadership. That whatever you doing with, with him, you're on your own. That this is what Mazen and the Kano says. And before Mazen and the Kano says, sit at home, call, call it off. I want to ask everybody, all those who more Koko, now shout to sit at home. Do you know during the uh, time of Niger Delta, when those uh, 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 Avengers tell the federal government that they are going to uh, stop the, the, the running of oil, do you know that they will call them to negotiate? Because that is going to affect the federal government. Yes. This is eight months. You do sit at home. 
Buhari never made any speech about sit at home. No senator made any speech about sit at home. Do you can't you ask yourself that this thing had a method in the federal government of uh, the zoo or whatever? Can't you ask yourself that they are just using that thing to pay Simon Ekpa to call some of the DSS because the people that is working with the Simon Ekpa is those fake people and those DSS to cause trouble in Biafra land and hang it to IPOB. But just because of the IPOB is so smart and the leadership are so smarter than their game, they said, we are not against if you want to sit down at your home, but nobody should force that. Nobody should cause any harm against our people because you are killing our people. You are doing bad things against our people. Before you come in, before you come in, uh, there is a, let me just read this comment because our, there is, a, we have um, our sister here. Uh, okay, let me see the name of our sister that just come in, Marian Heder. Uh, Marian Heder is here. So she has uh, something very important to also contribute. Um, our sister, we are coming back to you. Um, let me be honest with you. With regards to, let me be honest. The reason I am not here to actually fight with Mbaka. But if I am in that mood to fight with Mbaka, because this is the first time I am addressing him. But believe you me, believe you me, Mbaka knows what she, he is doing. But we are calling on him to retract his step. Simple. He knows what he's doing. Simple. And I know that what, yes, he, did, that. Simple. what he did is a leverage of what something Simon did for him. But I don't want to emphasize on that. I do not want to emphasize on that. Uh, uh, Ma, um, our sister, Maria Heda, please uh, come in and introduce yourself. Uh, Mazi C2. Uh, please uh, let our sister introduce herself because I don't know if she's going back to work. Maria Heda, are you there? Maybe she's okay. on the phone. Um, Mazi, she to go on. She's not paying attention. Go on. Yes, Mazi. What? What? Uh, what? Yeah, I was was she was muted. She was muted. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, she, yeah she's talking now. Okay. Good morning, y'all. How are you? Good. Good. We morning. are good. good. Okay, I'm um, coming from the United States. My name is Marian Heda. Good morning to all your listeners and your viewers. Okay, I just want to speak a little. Please forgive my voice. I'm just trying to get up. Uh, I work so late. I've not had my coffee, so my voice will be sounding cracked a little bit. So I will be long on the uh, program. So, but quickly, I'm listening to the topic you guys are uh, treating now. Uh, interesting, intriguing. Uh, that is with regards to what's going on between um, Mbaka and Ekberema. Now, before I double into this, I would like us to think back a few weeks ago. Uh, something happened because Ekberema uh, We must know that. <laughs> that guy doesn't just call your name for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have what's on the here. So I'm going to hear So, but so, why am I? One of, first of all, he attacked on Naga, Bishop on Naga, a couple of weeks ago. This is my own personal opinion because I'm still studying that, what is going on. But I can tell you what is going on between what this invoke, he's invoking Mbaka's um, name, will not be far from whatever has to do with Onaga, why he invoked Onaga's name. I believe it's Bishop Onaga accusing him that he has a grown son. Because that didn't, what, didn't make sense when he said it to me, because what has it got to do with the fight we are doing? So what I'm thinking, this is I'm still processing it, that Mbaka has compromised himself somewhere with this guy, either directly or indirectly with the people on the ground for exactly. experiment. I have said it, there are people that are doing the beast on the ground with for yeah, this guy. Eperima is just a spokesperson. What they're doing is larger than in this individual called Eperima. So the question we have to ask ourselves, is there um, 
rivalry between Onaga and Mbaka, or even in the Catholic, in their setting, in their group. There is. There is. There are is. Okay. There is. So if there are is, because I don't know that. So, sorry. No, there is. Yeah. Okay. So if there is, I'm telling us to go back and dig. We will see where this thing is emanating from. It won't be far from it. Mbaka, Mbaka is aware of Mbaka is active on social media, directly or indirectly. Why am mm. I saying that? Because I've had one or two of my brothers there, here saying uh maybe mbaka is not aware that simon is not uh involved or a part of a ipob as a registered member mbaka is aware i can guarantee you that one right there he's aware he knows either directly he knows or people that his social uh, media handle they know they are aware this issue with Ekperima is out there in the media by the time you watch two or three things you know because by the way how did mbaka as a minister get involved we sit at home or not sit at home. If you recall, Ebrema has he start, he put in the sit at home on Sunday. They did not honor him. Now let me tell you, he cannot just come and make a say. I want people to sit at home. Then his people must have tried to contact these ministers, okay, to try to encourage them that when he makes the pronouncement for them to honor it, they did not. So since then, he has not been happy with them because it's like a slap on his face. So my argument, or something I'm thinking through, the Mbaka, directly or indirectly, has anything to do with this thing he tried to try to uh, this issue he tried to blackmail on Naga? Because when you're dealing with devil, he will always ask you something in return. Because Simon cannot just come out and start talking to Mbaka like this. Onaga, Onaga. On, Mbaka, I'm talking about Mbaka right now. He cannot like come and start saying like to call him, yeah. Call him out and say if he doesn't, if he doesn't do it, what he's going to kick him to the gutter. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Simon understands the magnitude of Mbaka. This is a, a priest. When the Catholic uh, is, is, uh, organization try to uh, re, uh, detain him through Nigerian uh, manipulation, if you guys remember, the, I think it was last year, his yeah, members yeah, yeah. began to destroy the parish. This is the guy the bishop, we're talking the about. Bishop the bishop caught. The bishop caught. Exactly. So oh, this guy has called. moved. So yeah. this guy is not a no, is not a non-entity. Simon knows. Ask yourself, why is Simon addressing him in this manner with his respect? Uh, with and and the sister, sister, remember, let me refresh your memory a little bit. During the sure. time of that uh uh, uh between Oluchi or whatever his name, when the mom. Came exactly. out and was saying that they that the Farambaka yes. has a child with with her uh, yeah. daughter. Yes. Then the her daughter came and, and started to accuse Onaga Bishop Onaga that exactly. it was Onaga that was feeling that that thank if Onaga, you, did, you, not, thank, thank that if Onaga did not shut this thing going on, that they're going to bring Onaga death. Then we open. No, she, no, she was yeah, like they, she said she, she said they, she would open a kind of warm kind of in the yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 so. Let her the thing close uh, a little bit. Maybe then pass that information for Simon Ekpa to dish out the death rag of Onaga because after that, uh, Bishop Onaga then gave uh, uh, our this uh, our brother Fadambaka suspension. He stopped adoration for a quarter of maybe one month or whatever. Yeah. So there was a big issue going between him and Onaga because if there is no issue. How can somebody who is causing your bishop bring in the dirty or whatever, whether it's true or not, how can you even mention the name of such person in your altar? Thank you, my brother. So we are thinking, yeah. we're beginning to think of the same line. So whatever is happening now is not going to be far. Thank you for refreshing my memory. I knew it was yeah. a bit, but I didn't know it was this another because but now you may, you refresh my memory. Thank you for that. That is why it is now. Yeah. I don't believe in uh, two heads are better than one. I believe in two good heads. Okay, yeah, it gotta be good because if you have rotten hairs, they are useless. So, thank you for refreshing my memory, my brother. Yes, okay, because I remember that young lady said Onaga should stop disturbing Mbaka because if he wants them to open, they're gonna open a lot of things that may not be comfortable with everybody. So, most likely, okay, they somehow they reached out to this guy. Well, because Onaga maybe made a statement. I don't know. I'm speculation because I'm, I'm sure, probably for even Akperima to come out and began to attack Onaga, 
Maybe they have, because they have refused to honor him or agree with him to shut down churches on Sunday, because I think he said something in that effect. So now it became an opportunity for Mbaka and his group. All these people are people that work for them on the ground to attack Onaga. So now, and Mbaka now is not observing the seat at home, fine. So maybe they're not beginning to push him because Eberima is in trouble. Eberima knows that he's losing grips, even on his followers. That's the only reason he will come to Mbaka and say, Mbaka, I need help. You guys should start at least, and he needs to show some muzzle, like, you know, because you guys have been barraging him, which is rightly true, on social media that he has not given any instruction that anybody took, okay? So he will want to be relevant. So if Madam, they can find it, my, yeah. my sister, Maria, you are right. We know all these things. You are 100% right. He, I said to my people that he has to be putting hands somewhere so that the people think he's still... He's not relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. He has, he's still, he's still going to go more. You see yeah. this uh, uh, Nagan, he attacked. I know, I know that he's the another uh, has problem with him, but I know we all know. Uh, but, uh, guys, um, what about you, you, you know the day? Uh, you know the day he made attack on Onaga. The day he made an attack on Onaga, the next day we were on Rapture Media. We were on Rapture Media. Okay. Let me play what you know we deliberated on on Rapture Media. The same thing that our sister come in here to say. And the same, the next day, there was another Rudo, break finish, break. Rudo. Even when the, the engagement that Rudo, you see what is going on with the, those uh, bishops that he was exposing the other day. Those bishops he was exposing the other day, they are as guilty as him. Mm. They are as guilty as him. I cannot even defend them. All of them are criminals. But, uh, you know, that is the reason why yesterday I said, I don't want to talk about them. Let the dead bury the dead, because they are all dead people. Those people, is like, you know, there is another bishop who is using a berima in Finland, feeding him information in order to destroy the one he called Onaga and all that. We know that what he is saying is the truth, but what has it to do with what we are fighting for? Exactly. So this is <laughs> this was in a rapture media. <laughs> this was you. I didn't even. I didn't yeah, even yeah, think yeah. to this. Yeah. That's exactly that, what I want to just said. I did on my platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will go and give it to autopilot to debunk you. If you are a reverend father and I am a reverend father, because me and you we are not in a good term, I will give your record to autopilot to debunk you. <laughs> that is what is going on. And I don't want to comment much on that because the Bible call it let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> that is the reason why I it is not going to move me because you know they will at the end of the day do one or two that will you know that will be significant. But I at the end of the day, the evil that men do dwells with them. So I know from the beginning that, but I did not want to start emphasizing on that. But we want him back to retract his, his step. Yeah, we want him to retract his step. We I, yeah. that is the reason why I didn't want to start fighting or bringing all these things up. From the no, beginning. no, no, my brother, nobody is fighting him. This is what I'm going to tell because I overheard again one or two people are suggesting that. DOS should write him. No, DOS is not no, writing. DOS because, will not write. No. No, because that will be bringing themselves into he says she's a big going to the mall. Yeah, going to the mall with the like Yeah, which is what Ekperima. Yeah. Even Ekperima has been trying to draw DOS yeah. into yeah. the mall with him. No, yeah. that's too big for it's just like this nonsense. Uh, is it the uh, Wasofia and all these stupid idiots? <laughs> Yeah. are trying to do with why I am as a, you know I'm yeah. happy she's silent you know there is not everything you respond to you don't no. respond to everything that is why they have people like you people like me to do the deeds for them no that's not yeah. for DOS where are we You're then right. so they're not writing because Mbaka listens he's very active in social media so what I'm trying to say is this Mbaka if I have to call him out I'll tell him Mbaka the highest thing Ekperima will talk about is infidelity okay Daddy, let me just call this play this thing. Yes, yes. He's going to come out. He's going to come out and confirm that you are the son, the father to that child. Hey, that highest thing. It's not oh. a crime. It is not a crime. He's a man. But let me. There's something you people don't understand. I'm wearing do ibona wo mbongi magi goroma. This is my native that tongue. You know my own yeah. dialect. That is 
um, if they if like I have a bounty on your head looking for you, the smart thing to do is to come out and say, hey, here I am. So all those people that are be looking for you because there's a bounty on the head, you have spoiled their business for them. <laughs> That's a very smart way to navigate certain things. So it, what uh, uh, Mbaka has to, Reverend Mbaka has to do is to make stop playing this because what they're doing now is blackmail on him. If you don't do Mbaka should ignore them. Whatever it is they want to expose, let them go ahead and expose it. Ah, yes. Let me tell you that this lady, this famous uh, um, uh, film actress here before she died, Elizabeth Taylor, she's wild, she was wild, well known. Elizabeth Taylor married seven husbands. Some of them she married twice. So she had a friend called Lisa Malina. Lisa Malina was another strong girl. She wanted to get married because but she has a lot of crazy reputation. So people were advising her, so but don't marry her, don't marry her. She went to Elizabeth Taylor for advice. Elizabeth Taylor said, listen, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and marry the man, okay? Um, whatever happens, the story can only last for six weeks. Something else will happen. There's something greater than your story. There's always breaking news. So I'm giving this to Mbaka. Stand your firm and be direct. Try to hold on to your reputation. Nothing will happen. There is nothing new that people are going to hear. There's nothing new no, that is told. You guys the, minister the, it the, on the, from the no, pulpit. So, is he not still a bishop? Huh? The Onaga they, they are talking about, is he still not a bishop? He's a That's strong what? bishop over there. But is he still not a bishop? Him. He's so, still but when you continue to uh, say, I don't want them to hear, they will continue to play on you and torment you. In fact, I just come out and declare whatever, it, let them declare whatever it is and move on with your life because they're going to mess you up. That's the only way he can mess you up. Okay? Come out. When you stand on the truth, I mean, who is not with your sin? That is the problem I have with this church. And that's why I love religion. There's nobody with your sin. But it's when you start pretending that you're perfect. Then you are putting yourself subject to blackness and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to tell uh, our Mbaka. But talking about Mbaka is aware. He knows. He knows that Berima uh, has never been a member of IPOB. He knows. Yeah, he knows his activities and everything. He knows that he's the one creating all this mayhem. But there is something like somebody has a gun behind his head. That's what is happening. That's what I can say. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is a leverage, according to me. It is a leverage for a favor. <laughs> you know, but uh, somebody turning IPOB as a war machine, as a what do you call it? You know, when you pay me, pay, you know, do me, do me this favor, I will use this uh, platform to fight your battle. No, that's not what we are doing. You know, that is not what we are doing. That is the same reason why anybody who is non Muslim, Muslim, see you as an infidel. Because anybody that is not IPOB and you're using an IP, Simon Epa is an, an infidel in IPOB. He's an infidel. Um, oh, Mas Yossi, you've been here. I don't know if you, you've been here, but you haven't said anything. Are you there? Mas Yossi, if you are there, unmute yourself. If you are speaking, we cannot hear you. Osi is on break. Let's go ahead. Okay. Um, you two, please come in uh, be uh, before um, 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 our sister, Maria Heda, will, will continue again. Mazis, you two. Yes. Ahead? Yes, Mazi. Um, thank you very much for bringing me back. I, okay, I, I think, I think uh, okay, hold on. Sorry for interrupting you. I think we have come to the end of this in Baka. Yeah, yeah. Suppose. We have come to the end of this in Baka. Let me leave it here. There is something Apostle Suleiman said. I don't know if he's an apostle or whoever. I don't know who gave him apostle. But yeah, uh, apostle I want us to go there. Name. I want us to go there. Um, let us remove. Let me end this video. But hold on, we are not going anywhere. Let me just remove. We are back live on Facebook. We are back live on Facebook. So I am going to bring this image of Apostle Suleiman. And there is another drama that is trending. Uh, that side of um, worry. There is another drama that is trending. A man of God, uh, Omoto, 
Fufi and or I don't know what he call himself. You know, but let's listen to this one first. Because this religious drama is becoming too much and it's becoming to irritate me a lot. Because at the end of the day, they are using all these things to fool our people. Coming from the East, you betray your people. Look at this agitation now for this Zibiafra. No, you Biafra. don't know. Look at the agitation. Who are the people attacking Biafra most? Ibos. Hmm. Shameless Ibos. Am I in support of Nigeria dividing? No. Am I in support? So, number one, he is not in support of Nigeria dividing. Then why is he saying Ibos? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to call this guy a name. I don't want to give him a name. You know, all this video trending all over the place where he's meeting women in the hotel room. You don't want us to start this Ibos to start bringing it out. You don't want all these evils to start bringing it out. You know, since you are not uh, in support of Nigeria breaking, why then are you interfering with Igbo life and the Biafra restoration? Let us continue. Support of Nigeria separating? No. Do I believe we should be together? Yes. But even if you don't agree with the man who is your brother, should you say it publicly if you are not a fool? Can you say it amongst your people? If today they get that Biafra, it's an evil man that will scatter it. Shut up. Truth. Come on, keep quiet. You, wait, 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 wait. When it, during the time of the sin, it's when an evil man became a senator. It was an evil man that removed him. You remember the NWRM? Chuba Okadigo? Wow. Zayim, you remember all of them? Because uh, before we proceed, who knows which area this guy come from? Awuchi. Awuchi. Yes. In, in Delta side. No. Yeah, this in guy those, is from Awuchi. But, you in know. those states. Those Ouchie, is near Ben. It's for the former Ben. Um, ben there. Yeah, around Bini, all that area. Yes. Okay. That's now, the sound that is saying Igbo people, Igbo people. These people are the people. Some of them changed their name during the Afra War, so that uh, the Nigerian military will not know that they are Biafra. Just to betray us. But he's coming here to tell you Igbo people this, Igbo people that. Let us continue to listen. And there are, if you look at it, there are Igbo people here listening to the garbage this man is feeding them. Listening to the garbage. This is religious madness. Religious madness. I know some Igbo people will, will see it and say, yes, it is truth. There is no truth in that. There is no truth in that. Let us continue. It was Igbo that was removing Igbo. That was the first and the shortest Senate presidentship we have had in this country. An I evil man what? employs an evil boy to sell in the shop. He will wreck him. He will carry all the man's money, be buying land, even where to be settled. The problem of Ibo is Ibo. I repeat it, if you sell your brother, even the buyers will not trust you. Even if my brother is saying something that is wrong, I'm going to correct him, but I'll not do that publicly. I will fight for him publicly. I will get him those as say, come. Don't do this, old. Hmm. He's wrong. But no, I'm not scared of anybody. I, 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 I stand for the truth. I stand for the truth. Do what stupid truth? Hmm. I stand for the truth. I will say, I don't care whether we are from the same ethnic group. I stand for the truth. I stand for the truth. Oh, me, I cannot compromise. I cannot bend. You don't bend already. You don't already bend. You already bend. The state of the nation, if I should talk to you on what I suggest. What we need in Nigeria now is an ego president. Now you an are ego you know, president. I wouldn't even say now you are talking. Indeed, we go. Uh, because let, let's address the one he just said before he just changed the story. This is another okay. day. This is another the, the same people that he that are sabotaging themselves. You need ego president on them. Please, oh, okay. uh, I will I will just uh, um bow for a little bit let me just organize myself in a while let us deliberate on this guy please oh please if c2 is not ready please organize the program uh good morning yes are you there on uh i know this uh uh full and good 
<laughs> Let me tell you guys about him if you can hear me. Let me tell you briefly. Uh, okay, George Money, are you that. going out? Yeah, yeah. For, for some for, for some minutes. I want to round up. Uh, yeah, okay, you are you are free. All right. You are free. Uh, but but I had a please go ahead. Let me yes, let me tell you what is going on. I just heard him talking about first of all, for anybody to talk about morally morality or stupid or foolishness, it should not be this man. If yeah. any one of you do not know, there's a blogger called Maureen Bodeje. Go to that blog today. This man is already in British court. He's being sued. This guy violates, viol has violated literally 70% of all the women in that church. He, he has slept yeah. with them. It's so he, he has no, he's nobody. He's a non-starter to even start talking about somebody being responsible, being moral or anything. But let me tell you why he made that statement that evil people, even if your brother is doing something wrong, you should take him inside and talk to him. There is a case in hand right now. And the main uh, key actor is an evil girl. I think it's Chioma. Okay. So yeah. in all his shenanigans, we're sleeping around with women, trying to bribe, bribing them, trying to buy them with money because there's this story going that he sleeps with them for virtual uh to get uh, have you know get their virtual you know that's their thing but wow. he's right as we speak now there's a court case in london against him and these women he has violated molested raped him so what he's playing what he's saying now has nothing to do with biafra struggle he's just angry that most of the girls that have come out publicly to speak against or to expose his atrocities in his church even though it's so unfortunate that most of these women in there are Igbo speaking people. Uh, that's why he's angry. So he's indirectly speaking to those ladies. That is why he made that statement. If your brother or sister has done anything wrong to you, you don't need to come out publicly to say it. Speak about Call him inside and talk about it. He's speaking for himself. He's sending a coded message to those girls because that case is still going on in London. And more law cases uh suits are coming against him all the women he slept with he brought them down video on record this one is not he say she say they were able to record him even his ex house boy did a lot of recording on him those he committed abortions with this is all they're doing this man is not a man of god to start with he's a Muslim. i have come these across are... many of them i have come across many of them so if anybody don't go to marine body these are real authentic story so that's what he's speaking about it has nothing to do with the nigeria uh Igbo's assistant he's trying to send the message he's angry that the women he has messed with that they put he remember the story of otobo so it's the same individual so all these men have come out now to collaborate to confirm what otobo alleged against him so the current one now is one chioma i believe chioma i believe and some other Igbo girls so that's whom he's directing that thing to not to us, even though he's using that opportunity to make it like ebooks. No, I can tell you that. So you guys can ride on. That's what I wanted to contribute. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but uh, you know, whoever he is directing it to, you know, he shouldn't tell us Igbo people. Whether he well, is as long as, as he is getting out. Why would people be going to somebody who's directing are they kids? They are contributing. If I, I have a picture of this man's closet. He has more than 600 pairs of shoes. He has jet liners, okay, about three of them or four of them. He has all this uh, 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 wealth contributed by people. You know, why, the question you ask yourself, why are these individuals sitting under his auction and he's telling them that their own group of people or their own society or their own tribe are stupid and foolish? Don't blame him. Blame our people. We need to be calling these people out. Blame our people. They should have stoned him to death. They should have challenged him. If somebody like me was that, that challenge him. My money is good enough, but my tribe is not good enough for you. Why can't we religious cowards? Against I, 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 you know, so many people have, have turned to religious coward. That's what it is. Somebody in the name of pastor Please. and their problem insulting you directly. You just keep quiet. Uh, you'll be listening. Religious, you know. You know, uh, uh, Marzi, Marzi, uh, um, George Money, and everybody. Uh, you know, I think me and uh, Marzi Chisum was on a uh, Oluchi program today, and that was what Oluchi was saying today, also. 
So, but let me, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, give my own point of view on that, uh, Pastor Suleiman. You know, like me, the way I understand this message, assuming that Pastor Suleiman said, woe unto those Igbos that is fighting against their brother. That is the only word that I saw that he, he misspoke there. But when you come to Ndebanyan and say, Ufu Nyelota, Ufu Akalota Mwano, Uzulola, just imagine this experiment I feel, and let me just use it as an example. Somebody that say, Oh my God. And up to today, uh, in with uh, uh, the, the Mama criminal, which is nearly a fable, the one in the Kali, they are still confessing Mazen and the Kano today. The same group confessing Mazen and the Kano. We call Mazen and the Kano wife all manner of names. We say that the, the Kanonta Kanonta, so is the brother. We, we also say that a fine boy wife was putting charm on, on, on our breast or whatever, rubbing on Mazen and the Kano. The same people and all those people saying those things are all Igbos. And none of those, none of them are Hausa people or whatever. They are all Igbos talking against of their own person then claim them love. So I support Suleiman, but the only word that I didn't support there, if he would have said some of Igbo or woe unto those people, woe unto those Igbo people that is, you know, bringing just couple with what our sister says now, then from that he can be also be aggravated because of the lady coming out to speak because some other tribe may not be so. Uh, please, uh, Mazude, Mazude, yeah. please. Where did where which which area did Wasofia come from? This one called Owa in Norway. Uh, some place. From, uh, from no, some from Edo. No, be I would. I think you Edo, know, yeah. these people don't have respect for Yubo people. Yeah, so don't, some even, place. don't even try to to rub okay. the lotion. Okay, you let me why. ask you. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. Mazi, 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 let me ask you a question. Is uh, uh, my question is it because let's put it is it because of the man is not for Igbo? Do you know that Mazi and the Kano saw how he was fighting for Igbo people and Igbo people was not responding? Do you know that he said that that then, uh, he regrets Igbo and Igbo? Have you have you come across that message? You know, he said it. I know, I, I have come across that message, but in the context of where Mazen Namdekano said it, you know, it's like now, if I am not, if I, I as I am a black man, right, mm -hmm. I start talking against white people all the time, like calling them this name, calling them like this racist, name, racist. yeah, them. like racist, that yeah. makes me a racist. Okay. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah. If I start generalizing white people, white, that makes me a racist. That is a racist. So when he comes to his podium with the whole world watching, telling okay. them that Igbo people are the saboteur, Igbo people this, Igbo people that. Did he yes. not go to school before he pick up a microphone? You're right. That is where I said that assuming that he used a word, some of Igbo people, then I would have get that. That is the only way. That is what I told all the program today. That is where that man gets it wrong. He would have said some of Igbo people were onto some of those Igbo people that is, you know, selling their brother and their sister. That is my own point of view on that. Thank you. Yeah, that, that yeah. You, you let, let, Mas, Mas, you judge money. Yes. Uh, um, as I'm speaking now, the whole world is listening. Yeah. The, the, most, the most dangerous thing that happens to us in Nigeria um during that war that genocide our late general has no media oh. the black man i'm telling you they blackmail this man yeah. with media he has no media now mazin namdekano came he saw the power of media he go back and listen to mazin namdekano he said we are going to fight a media war this is where they destroy us during that war we are going to fight a media oh, right, Ecuador. Let me be honest with you, people. There is nothing wrong with Indigo. I will tell you exactly what's wrong with us. What's wrong with us is uh, the mistake of Frederick Lugard and Flora Shaw amalgamating us with the people that is alien with us. We don't know these people. 
And mag, uh, when they amalgamate us, the only thing Britain know that I will Muchuku. So for you to destroy the Israelite, do you know that Britain was planning to destroy the Israeli? Do you people know? To, before you can destroy these people, they, they first of all come when we fight them with the Kumeku. You forgotten? They know who we are. For them to destroy us is to amalgamate us with the alien people we don't know who they are. And upon them, they now bring genocide against our people. That destroys us automatically. Psychologically, yes, and psychologically, they impose everything on us. They make our people start scavenging. They make our people start seeing their own people as evil. These are the handwriting of the Britain. Don't be convinced. There is nothing wrong with us. But uh, uh, apart from that, I will render dry hair tomato, just like Rochas. <laughs> yes. I want to dry her tomato. You go outside. If you are looking at Rochas now, you think he's an Igbo man. He's a confirmed Alamaji blood on here. Forget about the Rochas on as our herbal niyeshi. I want to dry. The same way Mazi telling you that I get my DNA. When that man speak, he's a spiritual man. Listen very well. He know exactly what he's saying. But let me comes to media. I am telling my people: any tribe that raise up there, now we have media. George Money, why do you think I always adore you? When I see you come, I was happy. When I say to you, Shina Wagodi Giputa here, because I know exactly what I'm talking about. They cannot stand the aggressive of Ndibo in social media. Forget about them. Say, I get going why I will. No, this is what Nigeria plant inside us venom of the venom of uh, 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 Black Mamba. So we have to point to them. So, Suleiman, this, some of, you see, some of the people sitting down there watching his ship as and the the people yes. that is contributing for him to buy private jet are in the Ibo, and they're still listening to those things. He does not know they did not know that this man is insulting them. But let me tell Suleiman, Suleiman is a Muslim who saw the opportunity that Igbo people love Christianity and then start using advantage of our people. Now, why can't they use advantage of our people? We are by our people saw, I saw a video somewhere in the uh, Anambra state, Anambra, where the statues of Jesus Christ, a man in a region, a grown up man went there. No video now, you shouldn't do what. Mirror now, where you are now, just Christ now, one million, one about a million. No, no, why do you do that? Everybody now, Roshi. This is psychological. They kill us automatically. Bro, she put a lie. Our people, I was watching that video, I was shedding tears. Now, Jesus, now, was everybody, now, our miracle water. This, uh, this, you might not even look at it like we are, we are, we are not talking about it. The same way they will tell you that there is miracle money, there is this miracle. If you yeah. look at the one of, um, um, Jeremiah, Pastor Suleiman, he's one that did miracle money. Uh, that there, is that said. Them, there are many of them. In it. So, money. Uh, of Malawi, he did miracle money. He is a very good friend to Omote Jeremiah, the one who did miracle key. Now he did miracle key. Have you seen the letters of that one? Yeah. Our people are gullible. Religious has destroyed. You know, destroyed our people. That is the reason why you will leave your husband to go and call another man daddy. Daddy. Um, you Marty George, Marty George, let, let yeah. me let me round up so that uh, okay. people can say something. I was I was uh, um opportunity to be watching my brother uh uh, uh, uh on his brokers. Do you know that our people it shows where in the church on the Easter day where people lie those statues of Jesus Christ. And then the women were there. You see a woman crying. Oh, you know, I want to know. The woman was crying. I was weird. This is open and they can go and walk with their hair. I'm telling you, the best thing to do. So they were crying. Lena, I'll never be. I'll see you. Just in the channel like this. But anyway, I got to go. Listen, I got to go for this rubbish. It doesn't matter the name has to have by it. It doesn't matter. Let me tell our people something that's going to happen. Any tribe that raises ugly head to call in the name, you people should call him venom. 
He just don't matter. This are not 1967 or before. Call you Bundi. Apostle Suleiman. Everything that he's using in his house now was imported by by an Igbo man. Without an Igbo man in him, reporting this those... This is the best thing that ever happened to that con contraption. I am telling you. And to remember that this man is saying with two sides of his mouth, so Nigeria president so you guys should understand that those people are politicians just anything about if we have to before to another one so it's not a just like our sister just like our sister said it's not somebody we should take serious for what he said it's just a garbage talk you know street talk we don't we don't pay him no mind. There's nobody for which to start talking about uh mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe he was talking to those bad eggs among us. Oh yeah, yeah, uh Yeah. Okay. If you look at this one now in front of you, praying, praying, kiss the name you go ahead. I was here. I thought that well. No one they believe when the educated lower key. This is what our people are, you know. In fact, this is a psychological manipulation on our people. It is destroying our people every day by day. In the name of Tiger Church, church is destroying our people day by day. Some of these pastors need to seriously get arrested. You see, did you see thunder is striking? Thunder is striking. <laughs> is this a? Uh, is this a? Uh, ah, this guy, this guy, this guy, you show you now is always on them. I think the guy is from South Africa, right? <laughs> the guy I don't give them. He, the guy from I, South Africa, I don't give them no space at all. <laughs> because oh they God. have destroyed. You know, Bushiri, his friend. There is another one called Bushiri, his friend. You know. Bushiri, his friend that is always going to South Africa to visit this uh, Omote, if you follow him very well, which is what I know when I started following this guy, you saw now. That guy, he is always, you know, he, if you follow him very well, he would tell you about Bushiri. Bushiri ran away from South Africa back to Malawi. He's that friend of this guy. The one that, the, the one that claimed that he was somebody from the dead uh, from the not from that the, one okay yeah i think he did but his doctor died recently he he didn't raise him from the dead okay. after he after he uh, 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 ran away from you know how he ran away from south africa according to the judge money judge money i see so are you still there yes all the yes, I'm here. Okay, all this fake news going around, which this guy are trying to use to buy some of uh, um, his uh, uh, follower, where he said that DOS and uh, IPOB leadership uh, filed a complaint against him. What do you have to tell us about that? Um, okay, um, let me just say and go. Um, with that complaint, you see, this that complaint is IPOB family members, you know, who are filing a complaint. Remember, if this guy you donated money or no willing to give you, you can file a complaint against him. If you donated but, money thinking that you are donating money for that, you know, but, but judge money, do you really saw the complaint or because that wasn't the complaint, what you are saying now, that was the complaint if you saw the complaint that is why i was asking C to to know if he if he has an idea about that because this guy is using a lot of means to manipulate our people but if he did not so if i see to say he has not seen the complaint then i can tell you about the complaint because i saw the article so i don't know uh c2 did you did you um, the is here already. Uh, um, yeah. I think we talk about this thing now. Which... I spoke about this, I think, two, two days ago yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is the article actually. Let 
me try to see if I, uh, and there is something blocking in front of it. Okay. Let me read it here. Criminal Simon Epa. So we, we, we could have finished we could have finished this later, man. Oh. Then we're not come here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, don't want to go and take your your lunch and come back. Let's <laughs> yeah. Because I, have I, think, I think I think I think has something for Suleiman. So yes, <laughs> no, 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 not for Suleiman. I want to. I'm, I have I have something for our people. I'm okay, not speaking for Suleiman. No, okay. I'm not speaking for Suleiman. I just want to let our people because at the end of his message, he says something. He said he doesn't want Nigeria to break, and that is what made me to be more interested in what he said. I can understand. Not. Even yeah. when he's saying you go, you go. Those ones okay. is not a problem to me. My problem with him is that he don't want Nigeria to break. So he will. Not even what he's saying. And I want to start like this. In that his statement, I want to let him know Abraham and Lot, they are brothers. Abraham and Lot. And Abraham has cattle. Lord has the sin, but their henchmen are getting problem. And if Abraham allowed them, if Abraham, if they allow themselves, that their henchmen will get problem. And Abraham and his cousin will enter inside the same problem. What would they do? They say, okay, let them share. You call him brother. Let's share. You take one of the land. Let me take anyone. So you can go with your, your, your henchmen, so I can go with my own. And they agree and share each other. And Lord take his own henchmen and go. Abraham take his own go. They solve the problem. This one go and progress. This one go and progress. Find your destiny. You will find your destiny. The same after of Apostle chapter 13 verse 2 separated Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas were separated. Paul cannot do S Y. Paul cannot progress. Barnabas can do the same thing. If two of them are together, they will not progress. As you understand, from the scripture where he's reading, they both these people that I just give an example, they separated. I still come to Jacob. Jacob went and marry and marry, served the, the served Lebanon for six years, for seven years, and served Lebanon for seven years. They give him, they play him while you give him. Instead of Rachel, they give him another, another woman, the first daughter. Then, you know, in those days, in according to the Israelites, when you don't when you don't open the woman file, you don't marry her. You don't marry her. You can't you can't take her back again. That is the reason why the Bible says that uh, any man who defiles a woman. The woman is your wife. Yes. Jacob now served Leban another seven years again to make sure he married Rachel. Now be 14 years. From that 14 years, he now served him for his cattle. Six years, he now be 20 years. By then he has 12 children. The Leban now tell him that these children you have is my children. It's my children. The, the, your wife is my own too. Is my children. So you will go. You will, if you want to go, you go. Then Jacob has to agree now that he wants to go, but Jacob now starts complaining, lamenting, and God come and talk to Levi and say, You must say to him to go. He now separate them. He now go. When he goes, he start progressing. Jacob start progressing. So there is need for separation. Suleiman, you, you are not. You live separate. When you grow as a man, you find your own future. Formerly, you are a journalist. From journalist, you say God call you. From there, you now open your own church. So you, you leave your journalism. Why are you not doing your, your journalist work? You left your journalism work and start being a, a pastor. Start being a pastor. I'm not against that one. But you are against what we are doing. And you are going to Singapore. And you forget that Singapore separated from Malaysia. 
you are going to Singapore, you are going to Malaysia, and you forget that Malaysia separated from, from Indonesia. And you are going to, you are going to um, Bangladesh, you are going to India, and you forget Bangladesh, India, and, uh, and, uh, Pakistan. and uh, um, Pakistan. Pakistan. You forget that they are one. They now see that they cannot make progress. Go your own, I go my own. India are making well today. Bangladesh dissenting. This killing we are having are not there. How can you say I'm a brother to an Hausama? And if Hausama want to peel, he will bend down. And I will stand up to peel. How can I be a brother to such person? Tell me. How can I be a brother to such person? Tell me. How can I be a brother to Yoruba man? Tell me. We are not brothers. We are not sisters. What brings us together is amalgamation. Amalgamation, forceful marriage. My grandfather and my father were not born in Nigeria. They were not born in Nigeria. We are not separated from Nigeria. We are going back where we came from. I want to direct you. Point of correction, Suleiman. We are going back to our roots, where we yeah. came from. That is what we are restoring. We want to restore back. Restoration. But go and read Joel. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. When he say he will restore back unto us the years that they come come once. Nigeria is a come come one. The year that they come come one has taken from us. That is that restoration that is in Joel chapter 2, verse 25. That is the position we are going. When you read to come to 26 to 27, he said, We, the Biafras, are his soldiers. We will eat plenty and we will never be ashamed. I will use the same Bible you are quoting. I will use it for you. That's why I'm using it for you. So when you say you don't want our separation, it's where I'm against you. That separation must come to pass. You see, that's, it's not separation. That restoration must come to pass. We are not separating. We are restoring back what the Kamka wants. You and Nigeria are Kamka wants. What you people have taken from us, that is what we want to restore back. And when we restore it back, this your population will less. That is a simple message you want to give to your audience, those that are listening to you, because election is coming and you are giving it to them. Tunde Bakare come out last two weeks and say that Igbo people are cause. Tunde Bakare. Igbo people Imagine. are cause. I want to ask these all people, in the land of Egypt, where Moses grew up, Moses met an Israelite, an, an, an Egyptian fighting. Moses killed the Egyptian yes. to help him, brother, and go away from there. Then tomorrow, two Israelites were fighting. Moses said, ah, why two brothers are fighting? Don't you know who people are? He said, oh. You want to come and kill us the way you kill that Egyptian? Yeah. I don't know whether you understand. He's talking about evil, hating evil. I want mm -hmm. to let him know that Moses is calling today. It happened to the same Moses. He start running. I do you understand? Mazi, Mazi, uh, is it uh, is it that one you call Tundebakar? Yes. He's going for president. He said that after Buhari is him. <laughs> Tunde, Tunde Bakare. Do you know that Tunde Bakare is a running mate of Buhari before? Imagine. He contests together with Buhari. And okay. the rest of the politicians will keep quiet when he's telling us that Igbo people are cursed. They don't know they are the ones cursed. If not, let these cursed people go. Allow these cursed people to go. Why are Good you morning. keeping the cursed people with you? George Morning, I want to I want to let you to know one thing. I keep on saying it any day I came here. Minus IPOB and DOS. Nobody is speaking for the Igbo race. Exactly. Don't expect any person to as you are speaking now. You are doing you are working as elite. You are the real elite. Do you know how many millions of people are listening? You are 
now in this thing we are saying here millions of people are getting restoration i say restoration can can once what they have taken palm ones caterpillars for years that is what we are restoring back now restoration we are recapping what our leader has recapped before because of those that have short memory those that their memory cannot their storage are leaking they are the people we have we are giving this message back because those that and those that did not hear it fool that is the people we are giving this message some people did not come out to listen to Nandekalo. some people don't take him word serious the when things start happening and that's why we are recapping it back to them do you understand so I still ask them again. Who kill who kill who kill Bola Ige? They kill Bola Ige and kill him. They kill Bola Ige. Who kill Bola Ige? Who kill Abiola and the Kudrat? I'm still asking. Abiola and Kudrat. Who kill them? After they kill them, what did they use to compensate the Yoruba? The June 12th. Is it no Olusha Wabasanjo? Is it no a betrayer? Why did they burn the house of Oladi Podia? Oladi Podia were there as second in command. Abiola, Abiola were killed. And the, the whole Oladi Podia say he's planning Q. And even Abacha did not die. They could have executed Oladi Podia. Who is working all those things? You see, not them enter into Yoruba and doing all those things. Today, that give Quara to Fulani people. They are not talking about Afonja. Because they think that we don't have media where people can hear our voice. I keep on saying it, Brutus, Brutus, Gali. My friend, my friend, why do you stab me at the back? Who are the Obet people, the Obet men? Where, where the Obet men came from? Just as our brother says, see too, there is nothing wrong with the Igbo race. The most beautiful race on earth. As he said, that some people more than go ahead tomato. You cannot take it away from our people. They really destroy the damage they do to our people. There is no race in this world they have done such a thing to. Apart from the Israelites. The kind thing they do to us. The war are to us. Those that their father are rich after the war are saboteurs because the whole saboteur they did not collect their money. Which were one of them? The whole saboteur they didn't collect their money. Nayamodo is one of them. My father is a saboteur. And people have seen that the sabo are paying. People like Obabi Aseka, Onubelu Riara. People like care own body will say that he's the Agadama Chiroso. But nature has paid them today. Where are they today? Where are they today? And that's why we say this time, our leaders say, every, every saboteur, we must judge them. We must hang them in the tree of the Amate Square and judge the person that we can never forgive. No forgiveness in our dictionary. my father please my brother my wife my children don't take restoration of biafra and joke with me instead of you will joke with me with the restoration of biafra if you are the one holding my life take my life and let me die and go there's nothing on this else you will use to compare to biafra to me so when suleiman tampered the restoration of biafra he has tampered my life 
and I cannot take it easy for him. It will make me to pour out my development on me to him. He has attacked our leader before, that our leader will come back with shame. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Now he has changed. Do you know what these people are doing? What they call revised psychology. They will first and foremost praise you. When they praise you, they want to get you. When you feel, when you feel that he has got what he wants, he will strike. When he came, he started trying to doing like he's doing a good work. People now introduce him to Martin and the Carlo. They now come in later. Before you know it, a strike. Our people should stop supporting anybody they see. This is how our people will start supporting FFK. Supporting FFK. Before you know it, FFK start to vomit rubbish in his mouth. Start insulting evil people. Please, our people should stop. We should stop. We should stop supporting people carelessly. Let's come back home. Since you have been going to that church, what has that church changed in your life? Unsecondsigned human being who lay his hand on your head. God, on eight days, circumcise my children, my son. Every of your first son, your children, the male one, circumcise them on eight days. They circumcise me on eight days. You must this see too. They circumcise you on eight days. My son was circumcised on eight days. Eight days, okay. my own son. Okay. Judge Money, the same thing. Blessed uh, Jonathan Uden, Mas Uden, the same thing. Likewise me, likewise my own son too. But Apostle Suleiman was not circumcised on eight days. Then how, how do he become Machineke? To lay his hand on me. Me that answer Chisom, Chisomaga. God is with me. And somebody that answers Suleimani. I want to let him know before God blessed Abraham, he changed Abraham's name from Abraham to Abraham. He changed Sarah's name before he gives Sarah. The, the days we go to Bible school, in those days of my secondary school, it's not waste. It's not waste. I think I still have something there to speak to you. Even for three hours, I cannot stop. And I will be giving you the quotation one after the other. What I did in GSS or Tupo, St. Francis or Tupo, is not off my head. So stop talking about separation. We are not separating. We are restoring. We are restoring our nation back. We have been Biafra before Nigeria. That is what I want to say. I still stand by. The another topic. Jonathan, are you there? Are yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I think C2 uh, is, uh, is on mute or whatever. Anyway, my brother, I've heard all what you said. You know, you we really allow you to nail it the way you want to nail it. So, because you have, you're a Bible student. <laughs> you're a Bible student. So, you did, you did a, a judgment to that. So, the only thing I'm just trying to say is that I remember that the Suleiman you saw there speaking. Uh, about what he spoke, remember that guy is just like um, governor of uh, Inugu State, governor of Abia State, governor of uh, all over the, uh, the the country. Because Politicians. and again, yeah, and again, I think uh, based on the map of Biafra, the guy he's from Biafra also, the uh, Apostle Suleiman, based on the map because that Awuchi, I think Awuchi. The, is uh, one of the Biafran territory, if I'm not mistaken. 
But I believe um, if uh, Mazi Situ was here, he would have confirmed it. Or can you confirm it for me? Mazi Chisum, can you confirm it? Hello? Mazi Are you hearing Chisum? me? Yeah, yeah, I say, can you confirm if uh, yes. Awuchi is yes. in Zambia? Part of, part of there. Part of there. It has where they call a, uh, it has where they call a, uh, a banke, a banke, a banke, a banke. Those places. A banke, a banke is it? Is it? A banke is not there. That place is not a. That place is not close to a banke. No. You a you, a banke you talking in the states. Oh yeah. Okay. Go ahead. A banke is in the states. Okay. Iba kri is in Edo State. Okay. Iba kri, Iba, Iba King, all those places are in Edo State. Okay. But you understand, so some, I would, part I would, of, some part I would, of Edo State. How would is it uh, one of them? Is it a, in Biafra territory? I'm not too sure. Okay, because I asked it, I asked that question in all Uchi program today. Somebody said yes. So because why I'm asking that is that, uh, let's put it that uh, Apostle Suleiman, that if Biafra come, that his own territory is one of Biafra land, and our you leader, know that. Our leader says something about them. I, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think so. How would you? No, that's what I'm saying. Our leader says something. I don't think so. That place is not. It's not the place okay, we are looking at. Is, okay. How would you? Is where they haven't done up where should be shallow now. The Muslim man, this fanatical. Oh, uh, Apostle Suleiman was one of them now before yet. Uh, okay. we, yeah, we don't want your Batana Christian. Okay. Those places are not too. And, uh, and uh, Adam Oshomole from the same place. Okay, okay. So now, if you look at all the non inform of now, we have Zimbabwe, the Obele, we have the Tiyono Nala. It's all Mami Achoi will put Tiyono Nala. Or that they happy for that because actually so kukumo. So if you watch in Apostle Suleiman Church, ninety five percent of his member are all Igbos. On the Bonaga church, all how one they donate, all how one allow church, all how one they donate, all those tight and offered. They had the one that believed now, now if you pay your tight, God is going to bless you, God is going to multiply you, bring all your tight and offer and other other kind of thing. Uh, if you're talking about that, is why that I'm not the one. You know that is why the. The pastor, the Reverend Father in, in Lego, that said they uh, should stop singing Igbo song. You don't, you didn't see what happened to him. Then just transfer him overnight. So Apostle Suleiman can say anything he want to say because that is his own private business. Nobody can fire him. Nobody can query him. Nobody can tell him next time if you want to say such word, know how you can uh, put it. But what I want to, again, I want to, I don't know if it is a, because I don't know if it is a right time to ask that question is like C2, uh, since you know a rich channel to send a message to touch the DOS, because this, our fight or whatever is not going to be only we coming to discuss that is going to help this program. Because I discover, you know, I keep following these people to know where they are coming from. The reason why they are making this fundraising every month, they want to bankrupt uh, IPOB leadership. They want IPOB leadership not to see money to execute or what they are doing or whatever. Even if it is, even if in America here, why America is a, the greatest country in the whole world is that look at what happened in Russia. America came up to open the oil which they have already reserved. That is why uh, the Nigerian government is falling every day because they don't even have reserve. Is Hana Anoka Denele Atekol? You only let the day here. You might not saw your weapon, you see Gogilia, your profit. So, what I'm trying to say, if you can discuss that, me myself, I will start to, you know, forget about the monetary dues or whatever, whatever. If we can raise up to 1 million people. This one million people, just one one dollar every month. Forget about the monthly, let the monthly dues or whatever keep going ahead. But if we can be able to, because this is a very big fight, and uh, these people that you saw, this is a Why he's doing that is some of those 
fundraising they are they are coming up to do that fundraising do you think is all the people doing that fundraising are not people that the nigerian government gave money to come and sponsor that program then other people will think like maybe an occasion mc we call somebody that that person want to be a chairman or a chairman of the occasion the person will say oh i donate hundred thousand not knowing that he's not donating anything it's just to ginger people for people to start donating their money so if we can be able to know how we can even if it is not ipob member support the people that support what is going on then we raise like about 100 1 million people and just be doing you know fix it like 100 100 dollar a one one dollar every month and use it and just support to because in the bank you know, money has a lot of power you understand me money has yeah. a lot of power so to use it to support the dos we don't care about whether anybody is going to eat the money or not that is not our case this is just one one dollar to use it to encourage them because the fight and on the hour of better fight too that is the only thing I want to ask you, uh, Mazi I don't know if you have anything, and also Mazi Chisum, if you have anything to say about it. Yeah, all I know that uh, Chuko uh, Kabyama is with us, and then uh, Chuko Kabyama is with the DOS. Anything, the, um, uh, believe you me, uh, if I have to say now, uh, I have to say that IPO all over the whole world. If they've been deceived from somebody else, that is their entire business. Because me, I will never be deceived till I, I, I leave this world. Deceived uh, by who? By who? <laughs> by who? So that mm -hmm. I would not, I, like I, the, the way I am now, I will say that I was deceived. By who? Mazi Namdekar will come out and ask you, this, mark to this date, Mazi, some people will call him, Oh, did they think Mazin and the Khan will never come out? We know that this is their agenda. They will call Mazin and the Khan. Oh, I was confused. Boy. I you by who? You know, Mazin and the Khan, oh, he doesn't hide. He doesn't. He will ask them this question that I'm asking them now. Hey, I am just like one of our brother come from America one certain time. You know, uh, uh, they were confused. Uh, this, that, that, that. In radio, I was listening. They were confused. Mazin and the by who? Then by who? By who? So, all this why the Amazon Namdekano has been preaching. Just say you are not, just say you are just those people who, when Amazon Namdekano is preaching, you will come and be writing, he's a criminal, come down to the Afra land, and if you know, yeah, this way, yeah, all these people. Waiting, okay. you, man, you know that they wait patiently. They wait patiently, before how to put. You these are these people infiltrators. Sir. The worst thing that can happen to you if you have in, in, an infiltrator inside what you are doing. That's the worst thing. These people, they have been planning these things for long. This thing did not start today. They have been planning this thing for a long time. This thing see, that is happening now. But it's quite unfortunately that we did not pick it up. But some people do. But we are, are, I'm going to tell that we feel woefully was when someone ever start broke, when we, uh, 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 uh was asked question, I have that this guy, I didn't come across that video. Mm -hmm. I had that this guy come out and said, Mazin Nam the Kano was to come out and apologize to, to, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was in Germany, in Boy J. Lee G. S. Yes. Yeah. He came out. I had that, yeah, he was, I uh, had people. I start asking our our intelligent people. So when you had this, I did not see this that video. But up to now, I did not see it. And I didn't even want to see it because it's too late. I come to Roger Biafra, I say we fail. I mean the people know me know. I, I remember I remember the Equilem model is from where that uh, nearly or four job from. Yes. Yeah. Immediately they start planning that that rubbish. Uh, uh, nearly or four with those money you see Madame Moibo then distribute. They, they give to April it was given to them by a model. Yes, it was given to them by a model. Now, you okay, know, let me let me let me tell you this thing. There is a guy here, here where we live in New York. This guy, uh, um, he don't he don't really like him and the kind of, but he's very close to a model. Whenever a model comes, 
in New York here. Yeah, this that is where Kolemado, you know, that is where Kolemado hosts everybody. So the guy was telling me one day when they kidnapped Mazen Nandekano, even when they kidnapped him, he told me he knew everything that I went through, but he couldn't open up to tell me everything. I know him very well. He's from Enugu State too. So he told me he was like that he knew everything, that he even know who Mazen Nandekano went to pick at the airport, just to tell you how these people how these people plan this issue they plan it very very strong and there was a lady that the guy called the name but i forgot the name that he mentioned he told me that the lady told him who mazanandekan went to pick at the airport so to tell you that this was a a very strong arrangement game then played there but when mazanandekan comes out everybody gonna hear what happened yeah um my brother Jonathan, yeah, I want to I want to tell our people to know that uh, I know that many people will be many people always like to be angry when I say this word. I say the best thing that can happen to Martin and Carlo is this kidnapping. For now, you see this kidnapping. It, it brings a lot of things. He, he prepared for it. And you understand? The only thing we will be doing is to be speaking on behalf of our leader, on behalf of, of the word he has spoken before, to stand and respect the DOS. Whatever the DOS says, we should respect them and follow them and not to bend their word. Our leader will come out victoriously victoriously you see all of them all of them are failing by the by by the roadside all of them are failing by the roadside today all the whole money they spent all the whole thing their thought your thought is not the thought of god when you come to the book of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7 say don't say the lord god he shall not stand rather shall they come to pass who are you to command it will come to pass when the Lord Chukwu Kikabiyama has never spoken? Do that? Do that? Some people will come and say that God called them, and they will open a church, and they will have millions of followers, and nobody is asking question whether you have missed call or you have the direct call. And we have seen that our leader have this call when he spoke. Humanity listening to him. When he spoke, mankind listening to him. The kind of heart that our leader have, I have never seen people that get that heart. Till our leader, till our leader get all his lieutenants, now gather them together before he now starts giving them the spirit. They now have the kind of mind that our leader have today. That most of us join and have that same mind and know our right and our left. We know what they are doing. In freedom fighter, those in the streets, they are the people that owns the power, and they are the people that will take their power. We don't care what they are doing. We don't care where Kolemado and the Hinko Hot and all the, the evil politicians are doing. They are relevant unto us today. They know that they are not the one controlling the East. They are the one that form unknown government. They are the one that are doing everything they are doing to destroy IPOB. Our leader has said it. How much do they think that IPOB have? God is the one leading us to that victory. We know how much Nigerian government are spending every day. The little we can contribute are taking us far. Many people are working for IPOB, 99%, 100% of IPOB. They are not paying them. It's volunteer. And there is no time you will win the volunteer army. Those people, they are paying them to energy. But nobody is paying 
IPO based. They are from DOS to where they end. Nobody pays them. Instead, they put their own money to take care of those that back home, those that cannot be able to pay their child school fees, those in the hospital, those in the jail, those that they are bailing out to regain their freedom, those that has bulletproof, bullet, uh, bullet, uh, uh, bullet wound in their body. That is where the money are going. And the money they are using for legislative, what they are using to lobby, So these things have been going on. If our leader will stand sleeping for a car to finance Radio Biafra before he stops sleeping for a car, using, using plastic chair and plastic table, rather than something, rather than something IPO in the whole world, in the whole country, we have more than 100 and something countries, IPOB exists. They cannot stop us. And they, nobody can take the life of our leader. They have tried it many times. They have poisoned him. They have do all sorts of things to him to stop him. Somebody sent one clip for me one day. I was listening. I asked the person, stop sending such a thing to me. I don't need it. I don't even need to hear from them before I do my before I take my conclusion. Whatever that will make our leader too strong is this our voice he's hearing. There's no any other medicine you will, this voice, this voice we are hearing now is what are making our leader to be strong. Not what they are saying. Our leader say this time shall come that we, we let be strong for people. He educates us in all these things they are doing today. He will not tell you, bring your pen and paper. And the Majlis will come with slate and chalk. People don't understand what he mean by that. Many people don't understand what he mean by that. He prepared for this. If you can remember where they asked him, where they, where they asked him, where the where journalists, that lady from Zafara, come to Afaro Kuibeko. We are asking our, our leader, say Biafra or death. That lady say, Do you say Biafra or death? He said, Okay, if they didn't give you what he said, they will keep on pushing. They will give us Biafra and they will tire and they will call us to give us Biafra. So we are not afraid. If IPOB, can be up to now. Nobody. He said it will take you another 300 years to come close. It will take you another 800 years to dig the foundation of IPOB. Talk us of to bring IPOB down. You cannot bring IPOB down. They said it, hold, hold, the, hold the master. When you hold the master, all the ship will run. What is happening? Where are you running to? That is the mistake the politicians are doing. Where are you running to? They know that the politicians the politician are not speaking for them. Yeah. Uh, these politicians in our land, they are not stupid. They know that if anything happens to Mazinam, they can. All of them. All of them, they know. They know. They are not stupid. They know exactly what they are doing. They know that if anything happens to Mazen Nam, they can. It, it them and their generation. <laughs> they will never. In fact, history will. We history will write something that uh, Wikipedia will write. It will be. In fact, Wikipedia will never con contain what uh, there will be no space for Wikipedia to write what they will see. They know. They know exactly that if Mazin Namdekan is being harmed where he is, 
Oh, God. Uh, you know, uh, 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 this wrong. You see the gullible ones, just like they are doing now, try to, what they are doing is just to see if they can, uh, See how they can divide IPOB, but they cannot. But you, uh, but we Marzi, are here. Marzi, Marzi, see too. You remember what uh, Joe Ibo, Iboko said when they are when they kidnapped Mazen and the Do you remember his word when he was dancing, drinking wine, and uh, doing some other thing? When the journalist asked him a question, do you remember yes. what he said? Yes. So can you tell us what he said? He said, "When you hold the masters, the ship will." scattered yeah okay yeah no yeah yeah, yeah. that is what he, so uh, yeah he said again that there is no uh freedom fighter that when you hold their leader that that freedom fight then will never remain the same again so all people uh and they are not people didn't even understand where he's coming from because they have set that game when they hold Mazen and the canoe that what they're going to do is to advise people like this uh, in Finland and some of his group to, to know if they can be able to establish a, 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 a IPOB. So whatever that you see going on now is a game that they plan very well. And they are holding Mazen and the Kano to know if they can be able to do that, their job. But because of the DOS is too strong and so loyal to Mazen and the Kano. Because remember that name, uh, this of uh, of Webu, somebody. Remember that she she came to Umazi, Etina Sanwuru at the first time. Oh, if you how did how did she know that people is going to turn against? That is what the people, our people, supposed to ask this lady. How did you know that people is going to turn against uh, uh, DOS? If not because of this is the plan. This is a game plan. Because he was trying to buy Chinas and Woru too. But because of Chinas and Woru took a, an a oath and respect the oath which he took, that is why he said over his dead body for him to sell his master or for him to agree with this uh, stupid idiot people. And he never knew that Chinas and Woru recorded what, uh, what, the, what, what he was asking Chinas and Woru because it was Chinas and Woru that brought that tape. If not Chinas and Woru, Nobody's going to know that he was telling China Samuru to change ESN command as a, as a, um, as a, 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 a you know, put, change DOS as ESN command. So that is what this is a game plan with those politicians and nearly a forger and the Simon Elk. But our people are not, they can't comprehend if it is Spanish people. Say so they can't comprehend. If they can comprehend, then we understand it more than understand it so quick. It's better that it will work for all of us because, like as I said last time, if the DOS can be able to give amnesty to those idiots that don't even know how to come back, some of them already know that what this guy is doing is evil, but they don't know how to come back. So that is the problem now. Um, my brother, DOS. Yeah, I'm hearing you, brother. DOS did not hold any of them to come back, not to come back. Many of them are coming to, to Rapture Radio, coming to Radio Biafra to confess, to say they are sorry. They will tell them to, they will, all, they, all they are telling them is, okay, as you, as you can come out in the public and apologize, we are watching you and your unit, your family, where you belong to, are watching you too. And you understand? Yeah. That is the only advice they give to them. Okay, they never tell them yes or no. So they say okay. they are watching them. They, they, they give them encourage for them to come out and say sorry. It means a lot. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, it means a lot. That's, that's very good because the, the, more, the more we get more people, the more stronger we are. Because yeah. I want these people to think because they are... Some, some of those people don't even know the game that those people... Then they're not even... 
only money they are making is the recharge card and give them some recharge card they don't even know the plan of those people those people that are saying oh like uh, when jesus said uh, some of those people will be saying jesus i heal you i heal people on your name and they will say i don't even know you so that is the meaning yes. of what this uh, they are doing yes so so these people uh, uh but please uh, Chisum, can you you know I didn't get the detail about that, um, what he's posing that people, you know, file against him. Uh, is it a good time for me to know about it a little bit? Because there's something I am trying to understand, like uh, something like he arranged that program just to uh, make himself very, very bad, like he always trying to do. Um, you know, um, they say whatever we did here from Radio Biafra, Whatever we did here from Radio Biafra, we should not do what dilute it, or okay. we should not accept it. But you understand? Yeah. We saw those things in the in a, in a internet, in the social media. They say a group, and IPOB lawyer supported, and DOS supported, give their hands, their support on it. But the DOS has never come out to say they did so it or, that. or the okay. radio biafra has never commented anything about it but chila samoru will be online next tomorrow or tomorrow i mean yeah tomorrow or okay. next tomorrow china samoru will be online from there okay. we will know they say they have served With... arrest warrant and you understand to him so for now, now I what, cannot conclude uh, for, yes. yeah for for him he he did yeah. uh, he, there is no uh, he, that story can never be true because there is no way anybody can ask uh, serve a uh, arrest warrant to individual in a western world is um is something that uh, what i heard that he said and did to him is that a group that has no address in germany i listened and i heard when we were saying that a uh, route to finland government that he's a terrorist and uh, for that reason that uh, that uh, that his people he was accusing because anything that he that will happen he must all, always call dos just to uh, somebody that said he has already fired dos is not going to be talking about them but they can't stop talking about them because this is the he's still calling them leadership so that is why i look at this guy and say this guy must be out of his mind because you told everybody and those uh, foolish people following you that after you you have already dissolved DOS, that you are the last man speaking for the Biafran people. So why are you still calling DOS? So what I'm trying to see in that game, because I call it a ringy, just like when you go to church, you will see some people coming, oh, pastor, oh, you will see me. We came here, he was sick. And after one, one touch, he get himself back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You don't know that all those things is RNG, RNG healing. So when the Nigerian newspaper wrote that Simon Ekpa, oh, he's a terrorist, he was, he came out to give a, 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 a what do you what do you normally call it? a state of uh, nation. He came yeah. out to say, oh, he addressing state of nation. But when you look into that, I can bet my chest that them purposely did that. Them purposely wrote that because, number one, there is no way Simon, with even with his activity, what he's doing, that you can just, a Nigerian government can just come and say, oh, Simon, is a, it can be just a newspaper that will wrote that just to sell their own product or whatever but I now Sam, yeah but now simon Ekpa, now this experiment came up and say oh do you see now that i am the genuine guy uh do you see now if i'm not the genuine guy why is the nigerian government fighting me if what i'm doing is not touching them why are they fighting me you see how he's using our our people's brain now i i, I watched him yesterday people were calling him Oh, my dear, I go. I see Anya Kase. Anya looks in another uncle. Anya, so they bully show the end. Eh, eh, because. Eh, my dude. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. you said, what you saying is very true. Is very true because when you think about it, that was you know we told him, we told him that when the DOS speak, it trends on Nigeria media. Yeah. So it could be where he want to get his soft landing based on that. Where maybe yeah. to to start trending. You know, if you can talk about. What you are saying now, when BBC was saw the shenanigans going around, so that he, we said he's not an IPOB member, BBC but went now and, and, and interviewed him as an IPOB member. Yes. As a leadership of IPOB. So and what I remember. Think, what do you think the, 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 the Nigerian media and their, their, their stakeholders will not do for? for yeah, 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 yeah. And then remember, remember that BBC Ibo will always interview somebody that is against Mars and the kind of the person there. Exactly. Really, because these people are journalists. Remember, they always interview uh, Ijeri speaking and all those guys. They never, never, never come back. They never interview, like, um, what is this? Uh, our uh, HOD. They never interview China Sanwu. They never ask anybody to interview such people they know that they are very loyal to to the structure of Mars and Nandekano. So what I discovered because I think so fast, what I discovered because as soon as the, the newspaper carried Simon Ekpa is sponsoring terrorists, Simon Ekpa is a terrorist, Simon Ekpa get up and was saying uh, yes, they have uh, attacked me as a terrorist. It's not playing the, the, um, yes. the tape of Mars and Nandekano when he says that Zeke was tagged terrorists, that if you are fighting for Biafra and you have not tagged terrorists, which means you are not fighting. I want to ask Simon Ekpa, what has he achieved or what has he done in, 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 that will shake Nigeria for Nigeria to tag Simon a terrorist? The answer is no. But they are using that pattern to know, to, you know, for, to ring on your brain, like, oh, Simon Ekpa is affecting Nigeria, Nigerian government. That is why they tag him terrorists. Look at Nigerian they never government. They never tagged him as a terrorist after yeah, okay. killing all the people they killed in their yeah, homeland. Yeah, okay. They and never tagged him as a terrorist. He's a very yeah, okay. man. They and, they yeah, and terrorist. now, yeah, and now we start saying, oh, do you see that uh, the DOS is, uh, uh, you know, joining hands together to tag me a terrorist? Why well, is a false allegation? Why DOS never make any comment? The, the DOS and the, the group he said and wrote to Finland in a, in a, if it is a real group, that group would have have address. It was a range group by Simon Ekpa too, but he want to use that scenario to do like a safe. He's the strongest man in Biafra land now. I am the yeah. last man standing. If you yeah. want now, come and ask me a question. I am the one speaking for. You already claim that he's the he's the Mazen and the Kano now. That is, if you watch his speak, the way he speaks now, he say, mm -hmm. I am the last man standing. He understands. So all those terrorist uh, uh, newspaper or whatever is arranging, the way they are arranging the, uh, some of those fake charges. Believe you me, we, yeah, activities, of, uh, is the activities of uh, uh, this uh, Simon Eber. That activities is beyond black man's you know imagination. It is beyond black man's uh, uh, you know arrangement. <laughs> you know what they are doing. The way they are bringing this 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 uh, sabotage, it is it is beyond a black man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is the reason why the last time I said there is a Western agenda. Can remember, and... if you can remember, when Channel Television interview. A more powerful channel television interview a more powerful by audio by telephone. Like Mohammed, the NBC, Nigeria NBC, fine, fine uh, channel oh. television. Do you remember? Mm. Yes. Do you remember? Yes. I the NBC, Nigeria NBC, Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, file uh, channel television to pay because yes. they interview who a more powerful. Mm. I do you understand? And if they interview, BBC interview, interview um, Simon Epa, and Lai Mohammed did not talk anything. 
Don't, don't you, I hope there you see is a lot there. of sense in what you are saying. There is a lot of sense in what you are saying. That means they see IPOBs as terrorists, which they cannot bring to a uh, media, to yeah. their media to interview. Now, anybody that is working, you know, against these people in the name of these people, we yes. make we we ex, you know we expose that person in order to that for that person to get more ground. Yes, that is that is what that is what they are doing. But we are one million. We are one million step ahead of them. Of we are course. one million step ahead of them. That is what they are doing. And dead on arrival, dead on arrival. So you you know you know what they are doing. The politician are the politician are putting a blanket for him where to land, soft landing. So they are putting blanket for him. They are using the other hand for him, and they are using otapia pia and bullets for Bia France. They really agitators. Yes. I don't know whether you yes. understand. Yes. But they really agitators. That what that is what they are using. So mm. we because they know the real agitators. Yes, we know all these fake things. We know how they operate. But we know you know, there operate. is you know, you know, Nigeria government is some people is the way they are now, you know that they are following. They know the real agitators, and they know the chaff among us. They know, including the media. Uh, uh, the only thing, uh, judge money, what they are doing, we are so smarter than them. Those yes. uh, a group of uh, 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 a Finland are working with the federal government. That is why you can see that Mazen and the Kanu said, sit at home is not going to be benefit, uh, beneficial, and he's the one pushing the sit at home, trying yes. to force it with all those uh, disguised uh, DS, DAS that they call unknown government and some of all those things, just to say, that oh it is IPOB that is killing people in the southeast just to mm -hmm. make uh for uh, uh, all our people to have hatred on us so all those things is a game that do you know how much just imagine this uh uh uh, 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 uh um, the, what are these people is it uh uh it lame tiala or what what did they call them again yeah uh, uh, you know how much then 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 told people that the, the bond them put in the head of Mazen and the Kano. Do you know that that bond contributed for all those money mongers to start tracking Mazen and the Kano to track him down to Kenya yeah. for them to give the information for them to come yeah. and kidnap Mazen and the Kano? So what I'm trying to tell you, do you know how much they promised these people if you can be able to destroy IPOB? Because I want to tell you, I want to give you one example here in America. The Igbo organization in America here, we have a very sound meeting. We have a very nice thing. We have a property. We bought a property. Do you know that after election, Igbo organization here in New York, where I am, never remained the same? So that is what they keep asking. What is the type of medication that Mars and Nandekano have given to all Igbos that make everybody to listening to what to make everybody especially the five states of Igbo land to make everybody to stand still for Mazen and the canoe. So yes. those things are giving them so concerned. What did they what what they, what they want to do is to make sure if they can be able to set division among what is going on. So yeah. So that division, that division, that is what they are trying to set up. So if they can be able to set that division, that is the end of IPOB. And that is the end of the agitation. Yeah. And uh, some people don't even understand their game. Their game is to bring that division so that everything is going to be just, that's it. So that is what is happening. And uh, the DOS, they understand everything that is going on. That is why... They don't even come out in the social media to begin to go back and forth with uh, with this experiment in Finland. Because all what he's doing is, is just a puppy. That guy is a puppy. You understand what I mean? He's a puppy. He's a double agent uh, jumping up and down. The, the what is trending now is, uh, oh, 
then tag me a terrorist. Now, if they never see anything. If I see plane, I will bomb Nigeria. If I see you think, you think he knows what he's doing, you think he's fighting for you. That guy is a sellout. We call him a sellout. He's in a place like, we call him a sellout. So he it's knows what he's doing. Yeah. So he, knows, <laughs> so he knows what he's doing. So what he's trying to do is to pretend like you and him are doing, are, are fighting the same cause, not knowing that he's a pay agent. That is why he's telling you he always use what you don't know is bigger than you. And that is mm -hmm. why he always said, oh, you don't even know. If you know what, what is coming, you don't even know because I am going to be the last man that you're going to kick out from IPOB if you guys have been blackmailing people. But people don't even understand it. How can mm -hmm. you be in a family and you are accusing, if you say you are one of them and you are accusing the family that they are blackmailing people, but for your own turn, so because of those useless um, some yeah. people that they think that is doing that is doing anything for them, not knowing that is not doing anything, you understand. So not yeah. knowing that is not doing anything. So what I'm trying to tell every of our people, I'm on more wago melon them mother, because they are going to be dishing out money. All those fundraising you saw them doing, it just uh, camouflage where they are getting their money because this money they are getting, our people on a bush in nature, our bush. Most of them, which all in my have and we're 12 disciples, Kaya Lingwe, Judas. Some people may may be, yeah. uh -huh. some people may just fall out because of uh, one night that um uh, I'm not gonna go in the government to Kahane Leo and then they are treat wanna hand lead that money. Simon, but we now tell them where those our people, where the people that those fall out, where they are, they will now come and the bad egg. Imano na, he will acquire them matinya na bad egg. You know what is going to happen? Do you know what is going to bad egg? We spoil the good egg. That is, he will offer waroka na matinya no offer them ma. Offer ma waroka ye me because that offer get them ma. So, but our people are not. When you are telling them, they tell you you are jealous of Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa is in Finland. I am in New York. You two, you are in your own country. What is what? The, he cannot take my job away from me. He doesn't pay my rent. I doesn't pay his own rent. But he's doing wrong thing. So because Mazen and they can make it very clear to everybody that the reason why you have to obey your superior, the reason why you have to uh, use the chain of command is that without that chain of chain of command that our own is gone and yeah. somebody came out and tell you i don't believe in uh, command and control that these people have sold mars and the canoe and you don't use your brain how can those people sold mars and the canoe and the matter and they are the one fighting to bring mars and the canoe out and this is pretty much what is he doing the sit at home is trying to enforce with those nigeria uh, government <laughs> Is because it's not affecting Nigerian government. If it's affecting Nigerian government, they would have released Mazen and the Kano since eight months. But it's not affecting them. The only thing that is affecting them is bomber to bomber, paper file in Kenya, paper file in international community, the paper the lawyers and the some they are file, filing against Nigerian government. That is the only thing that is affecting them. Because at the end, they will still tell us how did they kidnap Mazen and the Kano in Kenya? Yeah. And somebody will stay be calling only ESN. That you don't even know when they form ESN. And you'll be calling that you are the in charge of ESN. I am telling you, I keep swearing for that guy. It will never be better for that idiot. I'm telling you. He's going to die soon, man. It will never be better to anybody who is sabotaging our struggle the freedom of you there? are you there yeah i'm there brother let me let me let me let me just tell you you know that these people they did a, they do the, a lot of mistake you know their plan is that they want to use people in ipob to fight ipob do you understand yeah the whole people they are using before they are sucking them from ipob and their okay. mind is that someone is one is a member in ipob 
without knowing that God did not allow him to be a member of IPOB. Okay. He knows nothing about the IPOB. Yes. He's on fence. So that is, that is the good thing that happened. He cannot do more than this thing he's doing now. <laughs> okay. And this thing he's doing now will end him nothing. It will end him nothing. What he's doing himself is not to come back to that land called Biafra land. He cannot touch his step there again. And those people he's working with, most of them... They are, most of them are nowhere to be found again. Yeah, it's nowhere the to be found got, again. Uh, yeah, C2 just told us now. I do you understand? They are nowhere to be found again. These people are imitation. They are imitation. Whatever they are doing, the politicians are even tired of them. I don't know whether you understand. If you can understand, you see that it has been a long time Lai Mohammed come out to talk about IPOB. Lai Mohammed is laying low, yes, because now he's laying low. He has, you know, dispatched his boys. You are right. Very, very Do you know that Lai Mohammed said it? Do you know that Nigerian army said that they will employ 10,000 bloggers? Nigerian army. Do you know that Lai Mohammed went to Sinet to defend his budget? To defend the budget. And the Senate said, the money, the money you wrote is too much. They want to slide it. He said, no. They don't know Not the different the the again. The, 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 the problem they have, sorry for that. The problem this Nigeria have is that they want to try IPOB. They don't know the difference between, you know, devotees and people you service. Yes. You don't go for service. It's not like a car we run for 15,000 kilometers, we go for service. No. We are here because we want our freedom. We are, we are doing it for our benefit, not for the change or the data that you no. are going to buy for us. That's no. why you can never defeat IPOB. Volunteer. Volunteer. Volunteer soldier. For. <laughs> we fight to death. Mm -hmm. So what they, what, what they are doing is what they are doing is a nightmare. What they are doing is a nightmare. So Lai Mohammed and Co. He, he, he employed 10,000 bloggers. Nigerian army did the same thing. In that 10,000 bloggers from making 20 bloggers, we are making uh, 20,000 bloggers. Where are they today? Nigeria cannot finance their military. They cannot finance their police. Have you seen that Nigeria started the project and end that project? They never start project and end the project. So Nigeria and remember, and Chisum, remember this is how they get uh, Ken. I don't know if you know the uh, uh, the detail about Ken. Ken, the guy from Ogoni that was fighting for Ogoni. Uh, kingdom or going to rebrace uh, to rebrace uh, yeah then use these people to kill him if you will understand that i don't know if you if you are familiar with that story then yes. use these people to come and testify against him when yes. they hold this man that is exactly what nigerian government is trying to do against mazen and the kano but they cannot do it because of mazen and the kano is a smart guy by setting that structure okay. called um, Jonathan. GOS. Yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, I want to let you to know Ken Saro Wiwa, he school in federal government college under scholarship in Omaha. Okay, he school in Omaha. Do you know why Ken Saro Wiwa hate evil people? No, he he checked a girl, a lady. A, 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 he asked a lady out, excuse me, dance in a in a in a, a club. In a club. In a, a that is where they are like doing self -works. party, Like a party? Yes, a like party a where they are doing party, self yeah. okay. So he 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 excused the girl to dance with the, the lady, a, 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 a sweet uh, a good dancer. The lady mm -hmm. snubbed her and danced with an evil guy. So okay. can start over take beef from federal government college. What happened during the school period? 
Ken Saruwa put it in his heart. Envy. Envy is what that key can. Tony people, we are divided. It's during Abacha. By then, the military administrator of River State was uh, uh, Dauda Komu. It was Dauda Komu. We had a key can sell over his body camp. We had a kill him his body camp. His people come out and testify against him that he yes. killed many chiefs yeah. in his place. And that was the uh, Dracu Dracuda judgment. The panel. I do you understand? Yeah, I'm hearing you. By then, by then, Gensaro we were, don't have don't have the kind of people that Mazen and the Kalo have home and yeah. abroad. And yeah. Ogoni, let me come. Ogoni is the local government. It has two local governments. And and the river state as a whole, because what he was fighting is Ogoni Kingdom. The Ogoni Kingdom, because they have a lot of oil. What he was fighting is Ogoni Kingdom. He's not even fighting out for the whole. And when you come to LMA, LMA people don't believe that they are from Ogoni. LMA don't believe that they are from Ogoni. Ogoni don't believe that LMA people from them. They still have division within them, within themselves. And you understand? Yeah. I Ken know I'm Saru familiar Wiwa. with. Yeah. Ken Saru Wiwa, what he did before his people will know that this is propaganda against. And Abacha, where he's doing that in there, that Abacha is his good friend. Was his good friend. So the case of Ken Saro Wiwa and the case of and the case of Mazen Nandekalo are not the same. They are trying to push. Ken Saro Wiwa is tribunal. What he go is tribunal court. Is tribunal. Abacha warned him. Abacha tell you, my friend, don't. And the worst part of it is that when you have worked for Nigeria, if you work for Nigeria, sabotage your people, Nigeria will find a way to do what? To destroy you. You know, they used Ken Sanu Wiwa during the war. They used Ken Sanu Wiwa during the war. Ken Saru Wiwa wrote a many articles against Ujuku, even in the newspaper. That is why Ujuku went to the prison, for Tako prison, and told him, "Good, uh, I think it um, was good morning and night or good afternoon good in the morning. morning. In, in good morning <laughs> yeah. in hot afternoon. Good morning yeah, in hot yeah, afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you're right. Uh, so what happened there then? That is what our leader now came say. Had he been... Had it been that Igbo people came out for Ken Saro Wiwa, then that our people could have came out. They couldn't have killed him. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. The brutality of Abacha. Because of the brutality of Abacha. So Ken Saro Wiwa is a different case with Mazen Nandekalo. Ken Saru we are fighting for pollution. We're going to kingdom. It's different with what Mazen Nande Kalo is fighting. Mazen Nande Kalo carry every people, both the Ogoni people, every person along. There is no segregation in what Mazen Nande Kali is doing. So Ken no, Saru no, we no, have, have, have no, a segregation. No, Mazi, Mazi system. Mazi Chisum, the reason I brought Ken Sal Olua for what we are saying is just to give our people an, a little idea that Nigerian government will not use any other tribe to come and fight if they know that what you are doing is good. Then we always use your own brother, oh, your yeah. own sister, your, or just go to, um, go to the village now where they are talking about Igwe. Then we use your own family to fight against you when they are trying to give you an Igwe uh, a crown. So that is what that is the, the system of Nigerian government. They want to use somebody like all those Ekwerima. Because when we are talking, 
people think, oh, you're jealous of this guy. I want to ask them a question. This guy is in Finland. How many people is in Finland? What did the Finland? What what, what I, 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 am I going to ask Finland government to give me anything? The answer is no. No. Uh, well, I, another thing is that. Uh, well, uh, sorry for that. Um, yeah, go ahead. How brother. many people has had ever go to Finland and come home and do magic? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, 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 yes, that is another question. When they hear that this guy is in Europe. Finland is not even up to Lego states. You're talking about Finland. Your head is puffing. You are in a Finland. Come on. You're in Finland for how many years? Tell me if you have even built a six, like you have even a, a two bedroom flat in Nigeria. The answer is no. Such person that waste all his life in Finland and the sodas of people you know, then use uh, that is why you always tell you Nelly is me, I am Nelly. Then bring when money you for that. Getting money that you never expected yes. in his life. Start getting money. Then people, when you are talking about him, people will tell you you're jealous. Yo, come on, man. Jealous of what? Jealous of what? You guys yeah. must be kidding me because you guys don't even understand. And why I brought this Ken matter is that if you guys misuse this opportunity that Mazen and the Kano brought for everybody, especially those people that is in Biafra land. People that is in abroad don't even lose too much. Let me tell you, people that is in the Biafra land, listening to our voice, trying to educate you, and you don't want to understand what, where we are coming from. I am telling you, if wars come to war, there are some people, Sina and Nibu, be America, Asege, Biko, so, but you that is in that country called Nigeria is what we are fighting for. I am telling you. It is what we are fighting for. Look at now. If you convert it to Nigerian money, in a government house uh, or a teacher or some of the lecturer do, cannot even make up to $500 in a month. Here in America, they pay you per hour. The cheapest job you will get here is 13 to $15 per hour, as long as you get strength to work. And we are fighting, trying to educate you for you to reason very well. And somebody in Finland looking for until on with the contract from Nigerian government, we do see you will sue to now or suit. You know, so I want you people. We are not, we are not doing this. I'm not like me. Exactly you what you me. said. That's the way it is. Exactly yeah. what you said. That's the yeah. way it is. So that is it. But I'm not going to nante ada and we bullies a bunya nante. Telling you something now. To do the needful, do what Mazen and the Kano tell you to do. You keep accusing people that their hand is clean. And Mazen and the Kano knows that their hand is clean. But for you to kill a goat, you must name that. Or for you to kill a dog, you must name that dog a bad name. That is what these people are trying to do. And the Nigerian government know again that Mazen and the Kano set executive member, which is this DOS, that if they are not there, that these people can even champion that Biafra agitation. Nigerian government is spending all all manner of money to make sure they bring this DOS down. And you people don't reason. Because you don't want to reason. You keep at the on his last man standing. You don't even know his left and right. And you tell him his last man standing. Don't worry. Later you will know what you did to yourself. Maybe and be confused forever. If a Uche cannot be able to bring the structure of IPOB down, 
uh, who has been an IPOB member for a decade, who is Simon eh, for three years. Or Funiche, no Futa, or Gwanda, one Nanoza Garaga. These people. Simon eh, is not a member of IPOB I, and never yeah, been. So it's yeah, not that is what I'm just. I'm just saying when he starts. So the talkless of the defense. So I'm just saying he when he starts. cannot penetrate the new field. The talkless of defense. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Who is he? You no. Know, oh, and then Marama. But let him keep taking this money. The only advice I will give to Dio is that it is about time then she should stop Simon Ekpa not to use the, the just uh, impersonation. Sue him for impersonation because he's using the. Because he's using the uh, uh, IPOB as a money making machine and deceiving our people also because he's a he's a he's a double agent. So that is the only thing then they need to sue him for, you know, the formation of character and using IPOB, which is not a member of IPOB to dupe our people. He should stop using IPOB name. That is the only thing they need. Whether he say Nigeria call him a terrorist. At the midnight, we stay uh, uh, in with Nigeria. We stay, then we still call him another one. Then we, the attack that happened in Kaduna, just to make sure that he think he's an enemy of Nigeria. We know how you play this game, but you cannot smart us. We are smarter than you, Ekperima, in Finland. So just pack one corner and let's see road. They, they, they cannot. They cannot give him. They cannot invite him. What they will do, they will arrest him. So if they cannot arrest him from that day to today, he's fake. He's the one writing, yeah. writing all those things he's writing. Uh, uh, brother, uh, Mazi Chisum, that is a 100% fake. Because why I tell you is a fake, if it's not a fake, how can they write you that you are a terrorist and you are coming to tell me, oh, you are waiting for a plane to go bomb Nigeria? To tell is a fake. He just trying to be famous. Fake. And uh, trying to and trying to do the job of no, his master. No, you see what he did. He's still asking that Nigerian media should come and interview him. Yeah, yeah. Can you see? <laughs> Can you see? That is where he came. He shot his. And you shouldn't That's... be surprised. You shouldn't be surprised if they come to interview him. And the media will come to interview him. They're going to come. Because that's Watch the same him. what he did from the beginning. But now, what could you over now? That's why he wants to, you know, refresh his um, his media wings. Even uh, even Shekau, even Shekau that are terrorists of Buhari, Nigerian media has never even interviewed Shekau. He only do he only speak and send out on radio. He only speak and send out voice record or he will do video clip and send out that is what shakao is doing nigerian media has never interviewed shakao so who is he they call, he call I, no that no no then can interview him just to make people to you know believe that he's the, like he start calling himself that he's the one speaking for the Biafra people no Go you don't understand what him. i mean you don't understand yeah. what i mean i say if yeah. they come to interview him if they come to interview him now, we know that people that understand what is going has know what is going, that everything is fake. You know, everything is fake. He, they purposely did that. They want to attach you with the DOS. Oh, the DOS is uh, is conspiring with the, the uh, to call me a terrorist, you see? For you, you know, this is the last. Things. Let me tell this you, exactly the last exactly. phase of the attack. Because let me let me tell you, yeah. let me tell you, no as no, see, see, let me tell you, now. as they went to as as now they have went to Mbaka. You know, Mbaka is their last game to play. Yeah, they know that Mbaka has population, and the, and we have fought with Mbaka before. When Mbaka, we are against what we are doing. We fought with Mbaka before. He has the times this Eberima said. He has the time this Eberima. We are talking about Mbaka. When we fought, that the elite supposed to be in the street, that them supposed to be in the street, not, not those children 
not those we battle push and the KK, KK, KK writers. Then we are asking them back, have you seen where a rich man are doing agitation? The answer is no. Is those those ones in the streets are the ones that are doing agitator? Are they are doing agitation? So we know the whole games they are playing. And that is why we are here to debunk it. But the guy is so desperate for him to call him back on phone. Everybody should understand the meaning of that idiot. <laughs> for him to Brother. call him back. And thank God that Mbaka came out and said, I called the name, the person that called him on phone. He never said that God even, told him. So I respect Mbaka made a mistake. Do you know Mbaka made a mistake? Do you know that Mbaka made a mistake? That's why I keep on telling you, anything, any plan, they always in haste like nigerian government they're always in haste along that in haste, along that where they are doing 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 hurry 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 they will do mistake along the line they will do mistake along the line who is someone ever to threaten mbaka mbaka that has overpassed many a lot of during abacha mbaka we are speaking then who is someone ever? do you do you see where do you see where i find it so Unbelief. I cannot believe them. Because no, during you, no. Uh, uh, Mazikism, see what happened. Remember, Mbaka is a fearless human being, but guess what happened? That is what I was still thinking that the initial what I said. I don't know if Mbaka, if he introduced himself as a as the last man standing for Mazen Nandekano, if maybe Mbaka is not aware of that side. So that is why he may go because he would, that is big mouth. He will tell him back, I am the last man standing from back for Mazen and the Kano. I want you to use this seat at home, Solomon, before Umu has a Pianyagin Agota. Mbaka will not do it because of not the scared, but Mbaka will just do it just to honor of Mazen and the Kano. Because all these last days, Mbaka already start. Following Mazen and the Kano bomber to bomber, hundred percent. You can see is the only man speaking out. So that is the only thing. Because if it was, if if it wasn't that way, maybe Mbaka wouldn't have told the public that uh, 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 this Ekpelima uh, called him on the phone. He would have put. Oh, the like, other way around. Yeah, oh, he would the have other way around. Okay, yeah. Or oh, the other way around. It could be. It could also be that this Ekpelima uh, in Finland knows that Mbaka has the population and he is advocating boldly. You know, let's find a way to take him out of the, you know, campaign. To take him out of the campaign. It could be also, it could be. Yeah. So, like, what I was, uh, like, uh, you know, we are just touching it, but uh, after everything, we're going to know what really happened. Because it could be that way, then Mbaka was just doing it that he just, you know, showing a respect for Mazen and the Kano. But yes. uh, what the only God. mistake, yeah, go ahead. What, what, yeah, what you say is what I said at the initial time. Yeah. That's why, you know, we first address Mbaka, we first yeah. address him to, 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 to re, 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 re speak what he said that this man is not speaking for Mazen and the Kano. That okay. IPOB has structure. And you understand? Yeah. We have advising, giving kindly advice and friends advice that we don't know him. And Emma Powerful have said it. So let him go back and listen to the, the broadcast and the publicity that Emma Powerful has did. That, that reminds me of something. He didn't see what the equipment is talking about, Emma. He called Emma Powerful, Emma Powerless. And he, he's trying mm -hmm. to tell the zoo. That a more powerful is in now the Kano Junior brother. That is this uh, is a, a, a how are they going to believe somebody that you cannot see his face? You know this type of people they don't even know the the uh, the, the knowledge of Mazen and the Kano. Imagine no one under my Huchinas and Wuru and and Co. Yeah, the people that has a strong voice in the IPOB. You understand what I mean? So he's yeah. asking you 
Oh, my mama, powerful that you cannot see his face. But why don't those Akam head people that is following him? Why don't you people ask him when Mazen Nandekano was outside? The person he claimed that Mazen Nandekano, oh, my leader, I am disciple. Why not? Why he did not ask Mazen Nandekano? Why can't you ask him a powerful to be showing his face? Have you ever seen him a powerful face before? The answer is no. The only time I've seen him a powerful face is one time where there was a protest in Biafra land and he came out to make a speech. A man powerful is a spirit. So yes. he cannot see his face. Yes. So now he's trying to tell the Nigerian government that a man powerful is not Mazen and the kind of brother. And uh, you are still telling me that this guy is standing for, for Mazen and the kind of. Anybody that tell me that that person, a man, I was no, no, I thought, I thought, because I'm for more to be saying, I However, oh, hey, till he had me. Let's say, put it that way. Let's assume in that no one net none they can away my powerful. Do you see how he was trying to give the, the, the Nigerian government the, the info? I don't know whether you understand me. So, when I'm telling you mm. people that this guy is working for Nigerian government. I will tell you who oh, ah, this man is working with Nigerian government because if you are not working with Nigerian government, you don't know a more powerful. You are telling the, the, the media who is a more powerful, somebody that you cannot even know his face. You are doing, this is the job the Mazen and the Kanu told the more powerful. This is the job the Mazen and the Kanu told China Sanguru. We don't want to see your, you on a camera. All those people that he told that they, they don't, that he don't want to see them on a camera is a time like this. Is a time like this because this guy is so smart. So now this experiment is saying, "Oh, Imapa, for come and show us your face if you are Imapa, and you are not even a member of IPOB. You are not you even know, a do, member." Do you know that Uche Mefotra Uche Mefotra travel to go and know, to go and get information about China Samoru. Do you know? Which of no. travel go to Dubai and spend weeks, close to months, to just get oh, an yeah. information. But before he landed to Dubai, China Samoru has already known that this man is coming. Okay. Do you know? China Samoru no. has already known. Now that reminds me. That reminds me. The reason why this guy Eberima, is always asking these people, faceless people, people you can't show your face. You want to hey. the POP. He want to know. He want to know these people. He want to expose them. To yeah, Nigeria. because he's a because he's an agent. That yes, is how he agent is very sound. very desperate. He's he a very very clear. I understand this guy again very well. He's an agent. Yeah, serious so agent. because because if you are not an agent, this is the instruction Mazen and the Kanu gave them, and you are telling me that you are Mazen and the Kanu disciple. Let's say you are not even IPOB member, but you are support of IPOB. You will always make sure that you believe in what your master or what your director believes. But look at what is asking them. Come and show us your face. Come and show in us actual, your face. In actual sense, <laughs> in actual sense, if he knows he's believing what we are, what is he doing with their face? Why don't you take their message and leave their uh -huh. face behind? Yeah, that is what I'm trying to tell you, that he's trying to pass information. Nigerian government to go a whole mass and the kind of brother. That is a, a map, he call him a map palace, while he don't even know who is a map powerful and who is not a map powerful. But that is the gossip because Mazen and the kind of brother is Emma. So that is the gossip they are, they are getting because they are confused. Mm -hmm. Mazen and the kind of put them in a, in, a, in a state of confusion. So they don't even know anything. Then they just, you know, assume that, oh, let's believe that this is Emma a, 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 a Powerful, is Mazen and the kind of brother. And they have had a voice of Emma Powerful. He never speaks like Mazen and the kind of brother. But that's because they are full of black men blackmailers so that is why they say it's Mazen and the kind of brother so i want everybody to understand these people's game we that is in here now we understand all their game very well but you guys because you guys are blind some of you guys are blind you don't understand it or because of some of you guys hate 
Mazen and the Kanu. You think by hitting Mazen and the Kanu, you're going to front in this agent of uh, a Nigerian government? You think you can be able to destroy what this guy has built for you uh, uh, for decades? No, it's not going to be possible. So I want them to understand the game of this guy. He's a full agent. That is why he's asking all those questions. He want to see. He want to see face, but he's not going to see no face because nobody's ready to show him the face of Tina Samuru or whatever. Somebody you don't know his face. How do you even know? Like that, I was a boy. The one that was saying, come and see China Samuru house. Come and see this. You don't know China Samuru. How do you know that China Samuru is the owner of that house? How do you know? The real Aboki. Is there yeah. any place uh, written China Samuru name there? Yeah, um, that, that, and he that, don't need that. that somebody boy, who said, okay, I want to ask you, I want to ask him a question. You say you don't know China Samuru. You say you don't know if he's black or white. You never see his face. He's, he has been hiding his face all this while. How do you know that that house is China Samuru? How do you so know they went to people? Nigeria to drive Jeep? Okay, and again, again, let me tell, ask them again. Even if China Samuru is a, a have a, a build a house, okay, let's put it this way. He has been in abroad for all this while. Or won't check on a a chuck or will put it on it. Or we all need your timing. How did they Let's assume it now. Uh, throughout this year, let me say, or uh, I invested in Nigeria up to three hundred uh, uh, US dollars. If I am a member of um, of uh, uh, DOS, you will say that I stole the, your money to do the investment. You see, the foolish people everywhere. Stupid people, the stupid set of foolish people. people. What are you we outside Nigeria to do? I, I don't know. That house, how much is it going to cost? It's not even up to 50. Like, let me just put it there, like a 50 million with the level that I'm looking at that house. Maybe, let's say 50 million because it's a three-story building. Let's say it's already put 50 million. How much is it in a dollar? They, they really, really like you people. Crazy <laughs> set of people. Hey, go wait. <laughs> Wait money. Stupid people. Stupid people. What is he doing? He should come and tell us what he's doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that I am. Judge money. Judge money. Judge money. Judge money. Now that I am talking to you, at least in a week. If I don't pay, sorry, I pay more than Kamwili and Ego Nigeria, more than uh, 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 10 million Nigerian money or 8 million Nigerian money mm -hmm. that I pay people working, working for me. So you will tell me because of he's talking about Biafra, you don't have to fight, look for money. Stupid people, mm -hmm. nonsense people, lazy set of group of people. Linda, 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 Linda. You know, I am, I am telling them, them, think everybody talking about this Biafra is, is just jobless people or what? No, that Come is on, what man. Tony Ubokwe instilled in them. <laughs> Tony Ubokwe, that's how he saw this narrative. It's just like somebody say he's talking about Biafra. If you show your face, you're not going to come to Nigeria. Is, I can come Tony to Nigeria Ubokwe? any, I can come to Nigeria any time I want. You're not going to do me nothing for what? Is it Tony Bokwe? Let okay, me tell you something. The, I'm going to do judge money. Legos. If Mazen Nandekan was an American citizen, I swear to God, this this is a, a set of useless people cannot go to, to Kenya and kidnap Mazen Nandekan. That is the last thing they can ever do it's in true. their life. They don't, they cannot. I am telling you, they will not because America, they believe in law, they believe in. Look at FBI went to arrest this guy. You see what happened? They couldn't arrest him because they're. The people that believe in a, in, in, in a normal procedure, but a British, because of how they against Mars and the kind of because Utu are Mars and the kind of are point. They are yeah, Utu, yeah, and the what they are making in Nigeria and Utu and the kind of the above IK, you want to go so they are upset about it. So we know everything that is going on. So all those uh, brainwashing, China Samuri is building house, somebody that is in Kuwait, where they have a lot of oil, or uh, they have a lot of job that he could even do to make money. Kuwait, Kuwait he... dollar. Kuwait dollar is one of the most stable <laughs> currency in the in the currency market. Oh yeah, how much is it? Is it when you convert it to US uh, uh, 
They say, how much is it? Let me actually. It's more than US dollar now. For real? Give me, give me the score. I didn't know about that one. Let, let me learn that today. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, well, hold on. You can proceed. Let me just. Uh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. So you check it. So, like what I'm saying and what I'm telling people, this man has served Mazen and the Kano and the Biafra with all his life, working hard, coming out to speak, you know, doing all what he's doing. And you are jealous. Let's just put that he's the one that, uh, built, that is building the house. Why are you jealous that the guy is building house? Because most of you, cannot even buy a bag of cement. You understand? So that is why they are jealous. They think, oh, because he's uh, DOS. Oh, this man, this man, uh, why did you build a house? Why did you build a you house? One could wait, one could wait, one could, okay, okay, let me call it what it, it is. One Kuwait uh, dinner. Kuwait dinner is equal yeah. to three, three point twenty seven dollars us dollars yeah. one kuwait dollar is three three dollar point twenty seven three point twenty seven dollars okay okay you you imagine that house when you the come back money in the currency market is the kuwait money right yes okay so why am why i actually to do that to do that um yeah to do that mathematics is that for people to understand that that this guy is in Kuwait and they look at the type of money he's making. Let's say he's even saving one one dollar every day. Say how many years this guy has been there for for more than 12 or more than 14 years. So let's say he stays there for 14 years, that is even saving one one dollar. How much is he gonna be by now? Is a lot of money, but the people just because of the hatred and everything they are doing against this chinasa. And still, yeah, this Chinasa is the one fighting to protect their people, fighting to protect the land of Biafra. But because of uh, they, they want to bring him down, because of Nigerian government don't like what he's doing, and they already told the Nigerian government that this guy is a is number is a is a man that you know if we pull out from that struggle, you already affect the struggle. So they are doing everything to know if they can be able to pull him down. So we're on to those people that is talking about uh, China Samuru is building a house. That house, how much? When you convert it in a in a Kuwait money, it's not even up to. It's not even up to. I don't think it's up to fifty thousand in a Kuwait money. So that is one thing you guys have to understand. Stop listening to all those cheap blackmailing and cheap gossip. Which we didn't even know if it is a China Samuru house or not. But let's put it in if it is his house. Uh, you, Jonathan, you want to be, yeah. Jonathan. Yeah, I'm my, hearing you. My, my, my cousin brother. Yeah. My cousin brother is so in Brazil. Brazil, you know Brazil? <laughs> yeah, and come wine Yes. He has okay. three story, he has three story building more than four places. Brazil. Right? Yes. Of course, so talk less of talk less of a man in Kuwait, Brazil. On the on the on the on the like on the like how? Yeah, what you said, you're right. Huh? If if that man can have such money, you don't even the, the highest guy. The highest guy he drove is uh, uh what did they call it? In highest guy is uh, uh um uh, uh, Camry, two point four. 2.2, I'll be 2.4 camera. So yeah. those you, you know right. what you know what these people are doing? What these people are doing, they are trying for people not to be funding ESN. That is what they are trying to stop. Let us yeah. stop funding ESN. You, you see, the last time China Sangoru came out, he said the world. What these people are trying to do is to stop to funding ESN. But China Sangoru told them that. For more than eight months, since now they cannot work now. Till today, 
the whole money that is in like, account of ESN, they didn't bring it out, but ESN are still functioning to today. I don't know what they understand. So all they are doing is in vain. All they are doing is in vain. Now they can't no plan IPOB. It, it, some people are, some people, some people.